everybody hello hello um happy oh god tuesday it's tuesday everybody it's tuesday i knew that i knew that why don't i plan this i need to start rehearsing the day before i go live it's not gonna happen um hello everybody welcome in um hello alia how you doing i hope you're doing well um, I'm trying a new screen. I'm trying out a new little screen. I'm just rearranging live on the go. Um, trying out a new little like chatty screen. I'm seeing how we feel about this. Um, I just mostly I like the fact that I can see more of Lightning McQueen. <laughs> He's more prominent as he should be. Um, and I need to fix the battery for my um, Kachow Lightning as well. Disappointing in myself. Um, also, hi, <laughs> you need a bell of your monitor the chosen day. You know what I should do? I should put, truly, um, I'm thinking now I should put a calendar like day thing on the stream so that I can just point to it and I can say happy and just put, and I won't have to say anything. I don't need to do anything. I'll let the calendar do the work. Can I get like a little widget? Is there a Twitch widget <laughs> that tells me the day? Twitch widget calendar i can't spell but google will know what i mean if i spell it wrong google knows um i don't want to have a countdown maybe a banner we just need something that shows the day for me just for me um because i don't check i should know i should know the day but i don't i really don't know the days ever I never know what day it is, um, except weekends. I know when it's a weekend because I get to party. And by party, I mean I can crochet all day. That's how I did I did this weekend. This weekend that just passed, I literally had a friend over and we just crocheted together. I was like showing her how to crochet because there was some things. I'm a new crocheter. Um, as we know, I'm on my journey. But there was things that she didn't know how to do. So I was like, come over and I'll show you how to crochet. And so we crocheted. It was wild partying hard um but i hope you've been well alia i hope everyone's going well um i don't know why i'm so tired on saturday because i didn't stream saturday night i was wrecked not from the crocheting <laughs> i just remember i was like i'm really tired i've just been tired um i think also like i work in a school and it's almost the holidays and i am ready for holidays except i work through the holidays because i'm in admin we don't get the holidays off um which is a bummer because everyone's like oh like a week and a bit to go and i'm like uh no i'll still be there you're doing wa Pfft, rude <laughs> rude oh that's not fair we get a few weeks at the end of the year like we have like we have time off when the school closes but there's still stuff happening for our school anyway um in the holidays so i still have to go into work it's like slightly different hours but like it's not the regular school hours um morning nations how you doing good to see you hope you're doing well um yeah i still have to go into work and it's funny because all the teachers are like what do you even do when we're not here and i'm like well i can get a p better parking spot for one thing i can actually park near the building so i'm really excited for that i'm excited to be able to like park in a good spot because right now the teachers still on my car parking um and i'm not gonna have them bothering me no i love them i love the teachers at our school everyone's very nice but it will be nice to have like easier stuff you know jobs wasn't do stuff for you exactly i'm like i'm actually gonna get all my paperwork done i'm actually gonna catch up on all the data entry all of the like nitty-gritty things that i don't have time to do because i'm too busy ordering whiteboard markers for teachers and handling sports equipment for students so that's gonna be nice um i'm just gonna be doing paperwork and catching up on things last holidays i was doing all of my onboarding because i just started um but this holidays oh also what i do at work in the holidays is i come into work and i um i crochet <laughs> i just i just do some crochet because i'm mostly there to answer the phones i'm reception um so i'm doing like 
a bit of admin, a bit of data entry, and then when it's really quiet, I just pull my crochet out because no one's gonna tell me off. Um, because my boss isn't in. <laughs> Cause she's she gets the break off. I don't, but that's fine. We have time indeed. And no kids to get in trouble would give you more work. Exactly. No kids bothering me. Just like parents calling up and I'm like, call back in a few weeks. But I am going to be taking some time off this holidays, like towards the end of the break, because I would like a break. So I'm going to use some annual leave because um, I'm really bad at that. I'm really bad at using like holiday time. So I'm going to, and also my, um, my birthday is, it's like the second day back of term. So I was like, well, I'm coming back on the third day of term. So sorry, <laughs> I'm not going to be there. Um, so yeah, well, I was just like, I said to my boss, I was like, I'm taking that day off. I'm taking my birthday off. And she was like, oh, fair enough. She's great. She was like, duh, <laughs> don't come in on your birthday. But part of me is like, should I go in on my birthday? Cause then I can make a big deal about it. And then everyone that comes into reception will know it's my birthday. Cause I would wear like an obnoxious birthday sign, crown or something. Maybe I wouldn't. No, I would, I would do that. Um, Galaxy, hello, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely gonna have my birthday off. I don't know what I'm doing on my birthday. I haven't planned that far ahead. Oh, my coworkers to decorate my desk. The thing is I'm getting a new um, coworker who I, I will be working very closely with. <laughs> And it's going to be like their second day, like their first few days of work, I won't be there. But that's okay because then I think like everyone, if I'm not there on my birthday, everyone else can hype me up to the new person. I hope. Or they maybe will, you know, talk smack about, they won't. They'll hype me up. So when I come in, I'll be like, I've arrived. I'm going to make an entrance. Um, decorating my desk would be super cute though. I always people, wanted people to decorate my locker. Like in America, like in American movies, people always like decorate their friends' lockers with like balloons and like posters and things and streamers. And no one ever decorated my locker, I don't think, in high school. I could be wrong. I could have just forgotten, but I feel like I'd remember that. Um, have an awesome day, you too. And the blue, the cardigan. It's so funny, this cardigan's purple, but it I can't work out how to make the lighting show the color. <laughs> it's like lilac in real life. This is actually a lilac. Light, light purple. But thank you. You decorate my like a locker stop, Alia. I would decorate your locker. I would make it so cute. I would put like stickers all over it. Uh, I don't remember anyone ever doing that for me. The only thing I remember about my locker is we had like, like top and bottom lockers, like, you know, they'd be like top and bottom, like two layers, I guess. And one time the girl above me left a banana in her locker at the bottom for a really long time and it disintegrated and like dripped into my locker and it stunk out the entire corridor. Like everyone walking past on the other side of the wall to avoid it was like, oh, it smells so gross. And I was like, I have to put my head into the stench to get my books. And I was not happy. It ruined some of my school books. Like some of my books got ruined because they were like stained with banana grossness. Um, but she had to clean my locker. So that was kind of fun. Not worth it, really. I would have rather taken, you know, I would have avoided the banana stench. Um... But she did have to clean it because the teachers were like, this is not acceptable. Um, it was gross. Um, you never had lockers? What did you do with your things? Did you just keep them in a backpack and carry them all day? How did you survive without a locker? I'm confused. What kind of WA nonsense is this? Um, butterfly, hello, enjoy your work. I hope you're doing well. Welcome in. You just carried things around? No, my locker was full of stuff. Hi Fee, enjoy your look. I hope you're doing super, super well today. Welcome in. Um, yeah, my locker was always like jam packed with books. Um, when I got into year 12 and we had our common room, I also had like mugs that I, and like snacks that I kept like in my locker. I had like a, like a pack of um, like mocha sachets and like cappuccino sachets. 
and hot chocolate sachets, like the little like Nestle sachet things. And I had like boxes of them in my locker. <laughs> um, fancy schools had lockers. You kept up books in the classroom. Oh my goodness. We didn't have room for that. I kept my books in my locker. I took some of them home with me each day, but yeah, we had a common room. Um, I did go to a private school. <laughs> I should probably pre preface with that. I went to a private school. Um, so we were semi kind of bougie. Um, but yeah, we had a common room with like, it had a fridge, except we could never really use the fridge because I'm pretty sure people kept trying to fill the like crisper section. You know the crisper bit that you pull out? That's like, it's like the bottom of the fridge section and you put all your veggies in there. The crisper, I don't know what else to call it, crisper. Um, but we just kept putting, filling it with slushies, like slushy mix. They kept tipping that in. So most of the time we couldn't use the fridge because that was usually padlocked shut. But we had like a sandwich toaster and we had um, microwaves. It's pretty nifty. Um, Paul, thank you for the Prime sub. Indeed. Enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. You can use the Santa booty emote as much as you want. Welcome in, Paul. Wait, now I can't find the Santa booty. Whoop, whoop. Um, welcome in, Paul. Paul, how are you doing? Nations, thank you for the hydrate. <sighs> I'm hydrated. It's great. Um, Paul, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, you're doing good. Good. Good to hear. Um, we're doing good. I am rambling about my school lockers. <laughs> Love Christmas sub badges in June. Listen, Alia, oh yeah, Christmas is all year round. We're almost in Christmas in July, so it's it's useful for next month. Um, I also can't find sub badges that like match what I want to like switch over again. So I'm just sticking with the, with the Christmas ones. It's because I'm a Christmas girl all year round. The other day I contemplated watching like a Christmas movie because it was on my Netflix, and I was like. Is it a weird time to watch this, like in June? Maybe I'll watch them next month. I'm going to watch some Christmas movies next month. Just, you know, it's what I'm going to do. It's how I'm going to celebrate my, my birthday. There you go. Um, end of my long weekend. Ooh, I hope you had a good long weekend. Good job. Good Hello, Rahim. How are you doing? Welcome in. That was aggressive. I'm sorry. <laughs> I almost felt like I was telling you off, but I wasn't. I was just um, happy that you're here. I hope you're doing well. Good job. Um, also, side note, speaking of Kachow, I'm really trying to find, I might have to make it myself, I'm trying to find the sound alert of the um, Chick Hicks in cars, because he has the the, alter, the alternate Kachow, what does he say? He has like another, he has like his own catchphrase, Kachiga. I feel like that'd be funny, but I also, I'm like... I, I can't find it anywhere, so it's just it lives in my brain instead. Um, so you did you did nothing wrong, Raheem. You did nothing wrong. I just got excited. Um, but yes, I hope we're all doing good. I should probably open um, Dreamlight at some point. <laughs> it's open. Um, Dreamlight is actually open. Can you believe I'm that organized? Is it on screen? It is. I haven't played this in ages. Um, I say ages. It's maybe been a few weeks or a week or a day. Who knows? Um, sincerely, Charlie, thank you for the follow. Welcome into the Cozy Club. Welcome, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Kai, hello. Welcome in. Hope you are doing well. Hope you had a nice weekend. Um... I feel like it's been ages since I've been here just because I didn't stream on Saturday. I missed one day and I'm like, oh, it's been forever. I missed, I missed streaming. Organization, this is a heck of a day. This is a heck of a day. This is what, you know what? This is what happens when I get like eight hours sleep. I got a lot of sleep last night. Um, I was in bed, lights out before 10 o'clock. And then I slept pretty much until, I don't know, eight hours after that, <laughs> whatever that is. Um, Jordi's organized. You guys, I'm organized. I can be organized. 
I swear. Um, Kai, how you doing? Welcome in. Um, Spencer, hello, welcome in. Um, hello, Charlotte. So lush to be here. So happy to have you here. Um, this is like a little bit too much electric guitar, this song, just in my mind. But it's also like a YouTube playlist. I don't know how to skip the song. We'll just jump ahead. That's fine. Um, who are you? What have you done with Georgie? Why do I have a reputation for being disorganized? Please, I just want to know. What have I done to be disorganized? Is it the fact that I start streaming regularly without any of my sources uh, plugged in properly and my microphone not working um, and my mute, like I start muted? What, what exactly, which is it? <laughs> what day is it again? I don't know what day it is. We've been through this. It's, it's a day that ends in a Y. I know that much. I know that, okay? I know that much. Um, explicit enjoy your look. Enjoy. Um, but yes, welcome in, Charlotte. How are you? Might be some or all of that. It's today. It ends in a Y. See, I should just say, you know what I should, honestly, I should stop saying the day of the week. I should just accept the fact that I don't know what day it is. Um, oh, shop. Nothing from cars again. Letting me down. That's fine. Um, there's no event, there's quests. Um, which days end in a Y? The important ones. The, the ones that are important. Um, and the ones that aren't important. All of them. And today is the only day that I can confirm. Also, yesterday is also, it also ends in a Y, but tomorrow doesn't, which now is throwing me off. It's okay, I don't have to worry about the future yet. <laughs> That's future Georgie's problem to worry about. The point is I was slightly organized today and that was exciting. Um, also, um, I, oh my God. Okay, before we do anything, we need to quickly investigate the Merlin Anna saga because I've been editing some clips from Twitch for TikTok and all different tables. This saga just keeps getting juicy. I swear last time, last, oh, dang. Alia, sorry about the 1% kachow. Rough, super, super rough. Kai, dang, we've got some mixed kachows. Um, rough indeed. Um, Bajol, Jamie, welcome in. How are you? Welcome, welcome in. Um, who's stealing all the kachow? Is it me? It's not me. <laughs> it's not me. Um, oh, we got some decent potatoes. Okay, that's not too bad. Where's my potato? I'm a potato. Oh, yeah. We've got some rough numbers in here, everybody. It's okay. We just need to give ourselves some, some self-care. Not the thief. It's not Paul. Paul's not the thief, can confirm. Um, Rahim might be the, the thief. I'm trying to catch up. Okay, no, yeah, Rahim's still in the potatoes. Who's still in all the kachow? Is it no one? Is it Lightning McQueen? Is it Maida? If it's Maida, we have to forgive him, okay? He's allowed to do whatever he wants. Um, oh, I have to talk to Merlin. Ew. I saw this quest. Um, today's not a kachow day. It's not a kachow day, and that's okay. Um, Billy did nothing. <laughs> We can blame Lily. I'll allow everyone to blame Lily because she smacked me in the face twice this morning. Um, and it was really rude. Like she leaned over, over my face and smacked me on the forehead, like a proper whoa, smack. Yeah, classic Lily indeed. Um, but she smacked me and I looked at her and I was like, what was that for? And you know what she did? Because uh, I was like, what was that? And she was like, oh, this is what that was. And did it again. Blame Lily, not Billy. Yep. Yeah. You know what? That's a valid hashtag. That's, yeah, pop off. It, it woke me up, let me tell you. I think she was thrown off because I was, um, I was in her spot. I was sleeping on the couch. I quarantined myself to the couch last night because Lockie was sick. Um, so I think Lily was kind of like, this is my bed. Move. And it was like valid, but also it was like, it was my vibe. It was me. It was me. Listen, 
Um, yeah, I, I can't really like justify that. I was absolutely in her way. I was in her way. What can I say? Um, also, Jamie watching from Kentucky. Hello from Kentucky. Well, hello to you over in Kentucky. Um, you tried to blame Lily. I didn't blame Lily. I was just like, I'm confused. Like, she can cuddle with me and it's extra comfy, extra cozy. I do not understand why I deserved two smacks in the face. One, fine, acceptable, v valid, you know, I'm not going to judge her. Two, pushing it a little bit, pushing it a little bit. Um, oh, okay. We can, I'm not talking to you, Melon. Um, but yeah, hashtag blame Lily, not Billy. Because Lily, you know, I will blame her. She smacked me in the face twice. And quite frankly, it was too early in the morning. It was too early for me. Was it 10 o'clock? I won't confirm or deny. Actually, I will deny it. It wasn't 10 o'clock. I was awake by 10 o'clock. And I was out of bed slash couch. But also, can we commend me for taking the couch so that Lockie could, you know, be in bed and not worry about passing on whatever he had. He's fine, by the way. He's okay. Um, but I squished onto the couch. Do I already have that bed? Probably. What's this? A chandelier? Sure. I love a chandelier. Is that another chandelier? That looks dirty. Scrooge, why are you selling dusty cobwebbed chandeliers? That's gross. You know what? I'm Maui. I want to speak to your manager. Don't throw things. Maui, you just threw things at me. You know what? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving this establishment and I'm never returning. You've lost my business. Zero stars. <laughs> that was dangerous. He's like literally throwing a weapon around in his workplace. Where are we going? I'm just kind of running at the, I'm running away from the from that shop. Um, also, I've been listening to a um, Maui works in retail. Yeah, Maui works part time slash looks more like full time actually. Um, Maui works um, for for Scrooge. He, he's like part time employee. I say part time again. He's there every single time, and I'm starting to think that Minnie works there because Minnie's always there. But I think she's just like a secret shopper. Which is not very secret because I've spotted her. But she's secret for somebody. Um, oh, so many things. Secret. She's just a secret shopper. A mystery shopper. Fun fact, I used to be a mystery shopper. I did that a little bit. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I was doing that. I was trying to make money. Um... Yeah, I did some mystery shopping back in the day. Felt super weird every time. But I also did get, like, I started to quite enjoy, like, being undercover. Um, me spending time in public places so Mickey won't murder her again? Mickey would never. Mickey has never done anything wrong in his entire life. And you know how I know that? Oh, I can't find the... Why is it not on my stream deck? It's not on my stream deck. I'm really sad. I swear I had something to prove that he's never done anything wrong in his life. Mice rights. Mickey's never done anything wrong. Mickey sympathizer. I'm a mice rights activist. Only for Mickey Mouse though. <laughs> he didn't murder her. He just sent her into the abyss for a little bit for a holiday. <laughs> And you play this game a little, so you're probably further into the game than I am. Ooh, um, Galaxy, where are you up to? Where are you up to in the game right now? I have got quite a few hours in this game. Hello, my sweet prince. Um, what's on your mind? Fishing? Oh, Prince Eric, you're really testing my patience right now. Which was a ghost. Was she a ghost or was she just like between worlds? Like, that's fine. 
She can be between worlds if she wants to. Send to the abyss with a knife, most likely. <laughs> with a knife? Interesting. I can't imagine Mickey with a knife. I feel like he'd be more creative. I feel like he'd, like, kill her with kindness somehow. Um, is there anything special out there? Okay. Well, listen, Prince Eric, you just talked about fishing and that's a bit iffy. I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. I don't like that, really. We don't need any fishing talk around here, thank you. Not in my valley. If you fish, you leave. I've been brainwashed by Mickey? Oh, no. Someone help me. <laughs> I don't want to be brainwashed by a mouse. Anything but a mouse. He's a knife guy for sure. I don't think he's a knife guy. I think he's just a nice guy. <laughs> that was terrible. I'm sorry. But I stand by it. Um, last I was on, I recently unlocked Goofy Stall. Oh, Galaxy, you're nice and early game. Oh, exciting. Well, I hope you're enjoying it so far. Um, hello, Kitty D. How are you? Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Mickey looks like a total psycho. To be fair, Mickey is also wearing an outfit that I chose for him, which probably doesn't help. Um, what's he wearing right now? He is wearing a funky outfit. Let's put him in his platinum outfit. Oh, I forgot. What? What do you... Why? Um, this is not... Oh, God. He's literally trying to kill Donald Duck. We'll forgive him for that, honestly. Um, <laughs> Prince Eric's one of the Tinder boys with a picture holding a fish. Oh, man. And I would... I, this is the problem, is that I... I, I don't think I would swipe on, on a guy holding a fish. Another attempted murder right there, right there. It, it literally just happened in front of our eyes. But you know what? Minnie's about to do the same thing because I'm going to put Minnie in her outfit as well if she's not already wearing it. <gasps> she's safe. She's already wearing it. Okay, never mind. Donald, you'd live to see another day. Um, may I ask you a question? Oh, my God, I... I can't stand when people say ax instead of ask. I know part of it's like a cultural thing and like um, like there's reasons why people say ax instead of ask, but it just grinds my gears a little. But I have to like try and let that go because I know some people just, it's just the way that they say the word. But still. Um, she's saying he's forever single. Well, who's forever single? Prince Eric? Not if I can help it. Unless he keeps holding fish, and then yes, he will help it. Um, would you make an exception for a guy holding a really weird fish and making a funny face with it? I would make an exception because that's like doing a bit of a bit, and I enjoy a bit of a bit. I love a bit. Um, use both pronunciations interchangeably. Interesting. So I know people that switch both, and... Yeah, I'm not going to be like, oh, this is not how you pronounce it. I'm just, when people say it, I'm like, I wonder where they, like, learned it. But I also come from a family where, like, my grandma was constantly correcting my grandma, so maybe that's where I got it. Um, and how are you, Kitty? I'm doing well. I'm doing very well today. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, oh, my God, I almost started fishing. Oh, my God, Eric's brainwashing me. I'm really easily brainwashed today. First Mickey and now Eric. What's going on? I'm concerned. Um, Ariel did. Grandma correcting grandma. She did. She absolutely, she loved to correct grandma. Um, it was like not her favorite pastime, but she was just like very much, you know, speak, speak properly. Um, Um, and then you just gave up there. Uh, good working on a new setup for my computer. Ooh. Yes, Paul, please behave. Please. I started reading your message and then the mods were on top of it. So your message, um, auto mod held, auto mod, auto mod held a message and then mod mod. Alia was like, not today. You guys gotta watch out. Ali is gonna ban people if you don't, if you're not careful. I'm just kidding. Or not, I don't know. 
Um, but working on a new setup for your computer, Kitty, that sounds like fun. That sounds so exciting. How's it all going? I hope you're having fun setting it all up. Is a copy editor from newspaper so it's super. Oh no, now I see the message. I see it now. I see all that grammar. Are you still or have you like relaxed a little bit? Ben auto mod. First night bot and then now auto mod. No one is safe from Alia, truly. Auto mod's the weirdest flirting. Auto mod is just weird in general, really. Built a whole new desk from a door. Wait, so that's a whole new setup. You built a desk from a door? That's impressive. That's super impressive. I can't build anything. Oh my god. Um, Ariel, you need to... Excuse me. Stop waving at my man. Eric, you need to leave. Go. Go. I'm just going to hang here and, like, intercept them if I need to. Um... Disney for lovers, thank you for the follow. Welcome into the cozy club. Yeah, that's right, Ariel. Walk away from my man. Walk away. Back to the ocean where you belong. Thank you. Um, using IKEA Alex drawers and then using Dora as a top. Wow. That's very nifty. Audemon's definitely a fish guy on Tinder. Audemon's definitely fish guy on Tinder and like maybe a bit of like a gym guy. That just makes you feel like weirdly uncomfortable. Yes, it was. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I do love the inclusion of some IKEA drawers though. I have IKEA drawers. I don't know if they're um, Alex drawers. I don't know the name of them. But I do have a Billy bookcase because we all know that Billy is the best. Um, I'm just kind of going to grab things aimlessly because I said I was going to do a quest and then I promptly forgot about it. I had to sand and varnish the door to get it smick. Oh my god, you had to sand and varnish? How long has this all taken? That's very impressive. I'm going to look for these notes because I'm doing at least one part of a quest. Alex was the drawers every makeup guru had in 2015. Wait a minute, I have to look these up because... 2015 was when I was all about makeup and beauty gurus. Um, Ikea Alex drawers. Ah, uh, yes. <gasps> These are ones I nearly ordered for myself. I nearly ordered, I nearly ordered some Alex drawers <laughs> just to like have some in my um, study. And I haven't yet, but I've like thought about it. Are the notes in here? Excuse me, Merlin, where are your notes? Let me just rummage through your entire house, thank you. Um, got the door on Saturday and finished today, so not too long. Oh, that's not too bad. That's a nice little, like, weekend project. Love that. That sounds so nice. I don't know if you started my last retail job. It was a bad idea, but I did it anyway. Oh, at what cost, though? I think I was in retail in 2015. Yeah, I definitely was, because I would have just... Aha, found notes. 2015, yeah, I was I was working in retail. Unfortunately for me and my sanity. I only have one Alex draw on a white tabletop. Um, paint to keep clean. Next time I'll probably get a wood tabletop when I have some cash. Good plan. Yeah, I like a wooden table. This desk here is like a glass top desk and I don't love it because it, A, it looks a bit dirty. It's also very fragile and makes me nervous. Um... Where are we going? We're just gonna... How's my inventory actually, by the way? Not too bad. We can fit some food. Um, but yeah, I like a wooden kind of tabletop look. I want to get a new desk eventually and get like a wooden desk. Um, again, when I have the money. Whenever that is. <laughs> Maybe tax return time. Who knows? Um, rather eat hot gravel than work in retail. I feel like that after working in retail. Was... Um, can I grab anything? No. Yes. No. Ooh. Okay. I can grab some onions. Unfortunately, that's fine. Let's go and empty my inventory. Um. Done both. Hot gravel is more fun. <laughs> Wait. You've eaten hot gravel? No. Don't eat hot gravel. No one eat hot gravel. Don't work in retail, but also don't eat hot gravel. Can we do neither? I opt for neither. 
Have you started working in local government? Don't do it. Oh, really? Listen, my mum has worked in, in local government and she tried so hard to get me into local government. It's like her go-to job to recommend is get into local government. And I did not. I just work in a school now instead. Um, still in high school at 15. I, 2015, I was... I think I was at uni. Was I finished uni? I was in uni in 2015. Um, and working in retail and was not really enjoying that, to be honest. Um, Dora Tasmanian Oaks was beautiful. Ooh, Tasmanian uh, uh, Oak. Tasmanian Oak. I don't know why I went Canadian then. Um, Tasmanian Oak sounds lovely. Why do I have all this stuff in my inventory? Someone please explain why I have all this fish. I'm scared. Why do I have so much fish? I'm afraid. Do I have any quests that require fish? No, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm scared. Canadian ook? Oh, it's because I hoard, but I don't want to hoard fish. That's scary. Fish? No, thank you. Let's go and sell them. I'll just check if it's a quest. Maybe there's someone that wants, someone that wants them. Where are we? Quests. Who wants a fish? If it's no one, then we're... Oh, you want Simon, which I have none of. Cool. All right. We're selling the fish. Um, when I was 15, I was catching... Catching... Danon... Paul, I can't, I can't pronounce that. What's that? Fish? That looks like something... I can't pronounce that. Danon... Juice. Did I nail that pronunciation just then? Dane on juice? Was that spot on? Um, retail isn't fun? Retail isn't fun. Oh, did I, so I was going to say, it sounds like something like ancient Greek. I was like, were you like catching ancient Greek gods? That'd be pretty badass if you were. You put it at, No, I nailed it. Dionicus? Is it that like Dionicus? Good effort. Was it an A for effort or was it like a D for effort? Oh, a plus! See, Paul, take that. I got an A plus for effort. There you go. But I'm assuming it's maybe closer to like Dionicus or something. Dionicus. <laughs> we know I can't read, okay? I can read, just not when I'm when I've when I've pressed the live button, my brain just goes to, turns to smush. Um, so I'm just happy that I got an A for effort, honestly. I'm happy with that. Um, also, side note, I have been playing so much Wildflowers that when I just saw that tuna, I was like, ooh, we can make fish cakes for money. But, um, no, this is not Wildflowers, unfortunately. Sadly for us. Um, Shimmer Brain Go Brew, indeed. Um... Dinonychus is a dinosaur that people mistake for a velociraptor. Oh, okay. Do they look similar? I have I never really had like a proper like dinosaur phase. Like, you know how everyone has like phases in your childhood? Like I had my Egyptian phase, like ancient e Egypt, was obsessed with mummies. Like learning dinosaurs with Georgie, truly. I need to learn because I don't, I didn't really have a dinosaur era. I missed it. I had my ancient Egypt era with like mummies and like the whole mummification process, learned that in great detail at the age of like 10. I had my history era, like Tudor history, which we know I'm still stuck in. Um, didn't really have a dinosaur era. Stringy, but light enough for one person to carry home. Wait. My dinosaurs, but didn't have a full era. My, my knowledge is basic. I know, um, yes, I know that chickens are descendants of of dinosaurs. I didn't know specifically Velociraptors. There you go. I learned that right, right here, right now. Um, okay, let's sort. I wish I would sort my inventory properly. Oh no, I can. Like that. We're just going to switch that. There we go. Amazing. Um, 
Ancient, the Mummy movie started my Ancient Egypt phase. You know what's so funny is that even though I had an Ancient Egypt phase, I haven't seen The Mummy. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know how I've missed it. I haven't actually seen it. Um, oh, let's talk to Simba. Um, I don't know why I haven't seen it. I know about it and it looks amazing and it looks totally my jam. Like, I feel like I would be obsessed with it. I just didn't see it when I was, like, when it came out, I guess. Um, Gamer Princess, thank you for the follow. Welcome into the Cozy Club. I hope you're doing well. Had a phase of emo grunge and Tumblr. Oh, I had a Tumblr emo. Um, no, not an emo phase. I had a Tumblr phase, like, hardcore. I'm still a little bit stuck. I haven't been on Tumblr properly for ages, but I was, I was a Tumblr girl. Um, we must, okay. I, I'm very keen. Discord movie night. We could watch The Mummy. I'd be down. I'd be really down. Um, that's Becky. Wait, Becky? Where's Becky? Um, 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 <laughs> a phase. That's a hell of a phase. Um, oh yeah, Paul, did you meet the original mummy? Is that what happened? You haven't met, you haven't seen the mummy, but maybe you actually met the mummy. There we go. In my mind, the Academy Awards is still a new thing. And the Oscar goes to nobody. Um, I don't think the Oscars are running this year. I feel like the Oscars aren't happening this year. Testing your Tumblr face. Oh, no, that's Becky, of course. Yes, no, we do know Becky. We love Becky. No, that's Becky. Remember when she wore, didn't she wear that shirt? Love that. Doing well. Um, hope you're well, Izzy. You can call me by actual name. Um, Andrea. Is it Andrea? Is it Andrea or Andrea? Um... So make sure I pronounce it right. Um, but um, I am doing well. Thank you so much. Thank you for popping in and saying hello. Welcome, welcome in. Um, happy to have you in here. The first one, Andrea. Amazing, amazing, Andrea. You know what I'm gonna? You know what I can do? I can like change a little nickname. Um, can I? I can. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. I can. I can do it. Yes. And I remember these things. This is so exciting. I figured out how to do things. Did that work? <laughs> it didn't, and I don't know why. No, I fixed it now. Um, anyway, I don't know if it was original, but I saw a few. Wow, so so spooky. Different parts of Tumblr. Alia, I was in, like, fandom Tumblr. It was a dark time. Um, it was a rough time. It was a rough time to be in fandom Tumblr while not being fully in like super who lock tumblr because i was associated with them and i very much did not want that but i was around for it i witnessed a lot of things scary times um don't go in the ball pit everyone um since we're still in the time so if you made it up um they were in bad condition damn that is a shame that is a true shame um Simba's like, do you have time to talk? I really don't. I'm actually busy talking right now, Simba. But sure. You have a theory. <laughs> I <laughs> worrying about every too much doesn't always help. I only worry about important things. I worry about everything. This is sound healthy. Simba, don't don't be rude. Um Fandom and Soft Grunge Tumblr for me. Oh, I always wanted to be on Soft Grunge Tumblr, but I was too busy deep down Fandom Tumblr. Um, I was too busy like live blogging Team Wolf episodes. So that's where I was at. Um, hello, Storm. Welcome in. How are you? Welcome in. Also walking by being adorable. And then there's also Buzz is also here. Um... Oh, so you guys were on, like, the right side of, of like, a nice side of Tumblr. I was in, like, the Mishapocalypse? Scary times. The ball pit? Does anyone remember the ball pit? Does anybody know the ball pit? Scary times. Robert Hollow never fell down, and you know what? You're probably better for it, Paul. I think you're better off for it. Um, Simba paying for my therapy. Can he please? I think we can do a few things to help everyone relax a little. You know what? Why don't you relax? You seem to wear these coverings all the time since you don't have fur. Simba, what are you implying? Are you asking me to 
wear less coverings. Simba, please. Nala already hates me. Please don't hit on me because Nala will actually obliterate me. Or Nala will send Mickey after me and I'm really scared about that now. Mental image of Simba with an iPad and glasses conducting therapy. We thought that, but he started to hit on me instead. Not appropriate. Not appropriate at all. Excuse me, they don't look very comfortable. What are you implying? I'm scared. Oh, I'm going to put a comfy clothing on. Oh, I could do that. Am I, have I done it? <laughs> it's like, nah, you're comfy enough. I am comfy. I, I look adorable in this outfit. Some people around here are downright cranky. That's true. Sim, um, not Simba. Um, Scar is right there. Maybe a change of scenery would help. What could possibly make it more relaxing? Do you want me to decorate? Oh, no, you want me to decorate? That's not happening. Turn Simba into a bathrobe. Listen, we've turned Scar... You know, who... Was it... Hang on, which movie was it where Scar was a, a rug? Hercules. Listen, Scar, don't go giving me ideas. Donald. <laughs> yeah, Donald's, Donald's a wee bit cranky sometimes. He's just tired. He just needs like a nap. Truly, he needs several naps. Um, the rings a bell? Okay. Um, the ball pit, Tumblr era, was, was it Dashcon? It was Dashcon. Um, Tumblr, Tumblr convention, there was a ball pit. It was traumatic for many reasons. Not that I went, I wasn't involved, but I remember reading all of the posts as it was happening and I was like, dear Lord. Anybody else have bad resolution? Ooh, what's my bitrate looking like? Bitrate struggling? No, how do I, what do I do about that? <laughs> Stream froze? Well, everything looks fine on my end, and now I'm having a panic. Um, still looks good on my end. <laughs> Do I need to drop my bitrate? Should I... Should I lower the bitrate on my settings? Does that do anything? The bitrate's already getting... It's getting lower every stream, I think. Just calling Comcast. Listen, I actually let me make, let me make sure that I am using the right Wi-Fi. If you don't use Comcast, I don't use Comcast. What's Comcast? Who's Comcast? Why are they interrupting and um, ruining my internet? Um. Wi-Fi. I'm just gonna make sure I'm using the right Wi-Fi. I am using the right Wi-Fi. Um, she was freezing too. Thought it was because I was watching on my iPad. It was just the stream. It was just me. But see, it's telling me that everything's fine. If I change my bit rate and lower it, the video bit rate, will that help? Let's do it. Let's bring it down. I, I bring it down every stream. Every stream I lower it slightly more. Um, and we just hope for the best. Do they have good old music like Centrelink? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, let me find some Centrelink background music. Is this going to get me copyrighted? Who knows? Center. Well, that's all caps. Centrelink a hold music. Hang on. I might get copyrighted, but maybe it'd be worth it. I'm pausing it because I'm scared of getting copyright. <laughs> Back to the lo-fi. Um, <laughs> separate your audio from your vault. Okay, Alia, I'm going to have to ask you about this off stream because I tried to separate my audio and it would not let me. Um, and I feel dumb. Um, it didn't work. I couldn't work it out. So 
I didn't. But next time, once I figure that out, Centrelink, Centrelink vibes all day, baby. Centrelink like bops. Um, big internet service providers in the US are notoriously crap. Ah, oh, yeah, we call that Telstra or Optus. Let's let's remember they're both equally awful. Um, you feel great and have your day. <laughs> Done your good deed for the day. All right, I'll call Comcast. I could do it. Just your quest. Wish I had that many left. I have so many quests. Listen, Andrea, don't even worry. I, I don't do quests. <laughs> I have so many quests. We'll do a couple today, maybe. We can do these. We could do this one. We're not doing that. I need to gather purified night shard and things here. Um, get in the Discord call or something amazing. Yes, yes, thank you, Storm. Yes, let's all help each other out. As in, everyone can help me out. <laughs> I don't have much to contribute, but help. Um, Optus it doesn't work here. You don't even have Optus. See, that's why Optus is worse. Telstra is better. It's at least we've got that. Um, not a good stream if there's no tech issues. Listen, it's not a Georgie stream if something doesn't go slightly wrong. Let's be honest. I was, it was going too smoothly before. I was too proud of myself for being organized. Um, so we've read moon, yeah, we're making moonshine. We're making moonshine. Let's go make some moonshine. Um, if we wait long enough, I'll do it when I'm in Melbourne. Ooh, true. Not long now. Back to classic Georgie. Yeah, this this is more like the typical stream. Something's got to go wrong. Um, you know, whether, whether it's freezing or making moonshine. <laughs> um, actually, how do I make moonshine? Dream shards. I need night shards. Um, sure. Oh, I want to untrack that quest. Hang on. I'm not doing that one. And we're not doing that one. No, maybe we could do that one. I'm not doing this one. Um, pause having flashbacks to the prohibition times. And, uh, it's okay, Paul. You'll get through those flashbacks. It's all right. Just think of the moonshine. UK has shitty Virgin Media. Oh, I feel like we used to have Virgin. I'm pretty sure we used to have that. <laughs> Thank you, Alia. Successfully added a quote. It's a good quote. I'd say it again. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Australia used to have Virgin Mobile, um, and we don't anymore. So I guess. Good for that mobile. It's not a virgin anymore. Um, I don't think it's around anymore. I think it's leveled up or it went obsolete. <laughs> um, is it virgin? Well, you have virgin airlines. I don't think there's virgin mobile anymore. Not that I can see. No, it's phased out. It went into Optus. Um, I need Telstra works here so don't take notice. Um, yeah, no, it's now, it was owned by Optus and then Optus was like, mm, we don't have time for Virgin, sorry. <laughs> so it got dropped. <laughs> good for the mobile, but also like not good for the mobile. It's not in Sydney, yeah, it's gone. Um, Virgin Media is still pretty good. Talk Talk on the other hand, Talk Talk. There's a company called Talk Talk. They're not even trying. Raheem, that's just lazy. You can't call a mobile company Talk Talk. That's a little bit too much like Bodie McBoatface. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, yeah, exactly. It's it's not not it. It's it's straight to the point, but it's also not because it's repeating itself for no reason. The second talk is irrelevant. Just call it talk. You don't need, you don't need to. You don't need to have talk talk. Actually, there's another company you want to talk? You want to talk talk? I think you're going to say like, you want to talk talk? Oh, it's the other person talking. Talk? Talk. Ah, uh, mm, no. Like, I get it, but also I don't like it. Parents' house, we have to get an extender for my laptop. Talk talk is diabolical. It sounds diabolical. I don't like the name. 
I'm not a fan of, of that. Oh, I've got to get dream shards. Do I have to make dream shards? No, I just, what? Oh, I need to hold them in my pocket and I'm not holding any in my pocket right now. I need to find them in my inventory. Oh, God. Not organized. Maybe in here? Oh, yes. Good. Six of those. Thank you. Perfect. Um, Bodie McBoatface is a UK thing. But Bodie McBoatface is also, like, universal. Universally loved. And also, every time the public can name anything, they will name it similar to Bodie McBoatface. Mom would love talk talk. Talk talk's not gonna the boomer dial up version of TikTok. It sounds, you know what? Talk talk sounds like what someone would call TikTok accidentally. Absolutely, I think they would say it accidentally. They'd be like, "Oh, I was on the talk talk the other day," and then you have to figure out that they actually were on TikTok. I'm surprised my dad hasn't called it talk talk because my dad is on TikTok. Don't know why, but. He really enjoys all the, like, Marvel content and recipes. Tok Tok is the offering of TikTok. Um, yeah, I believe that. I believe that. Um, Camille, that sounds 100% correct. You might say Department of Transportation holds a contest to name their new snowplows every year, and those names are generally good. So you don't get, like, Snow McSnowface? I'm surprised. Um, also, hang on, I had, what was I doing with this quest? What am I doing with the quest? I gotta talk to Moana. I will do that. Tracking it, cause I'm gonna forget about that in two seconds. I just need to find Moana. <gasps> She's over here, okay. Um, but yeah, I feel like my mum would call TikTok something weird. Because my mum does not know TikTok. She does not understand TikTok. She's she's barely on Instagram. Whenever I take photos with her, like if my mum and I go out for lunch and we like take a nice photo together, she's like, are you going to post it anywhere that I'll see? And I'm like, yes, mum, I'll post it on Facebook just for you. <laughs> it's the only time I check Facebook. Um, Actually, I check Facebook more regularly now because I really enjoy my local community Facebook group, it's really fun for like stupid drama. Like people, the people that are on Facebook that are posting in this group give me so much entertainment. It's like reading, I, it's like instead of reading the news, I just scroll through the Facebook page. I'm like, what's happening in my local community? Who's angry about something dumb now? What stupid scenarios are happening? And there's always something really funny. I, I love it. Um, the winners, oh, please tell me the winners. That was a drum roll. Um, if anyone couldn't tell. If you couldn't tell, that's what that was. Um, you're a Blizzard Harry, amazing. Blizzo, spectacular. I love Blizzo. Um, <laughs> it's me. Him's like, I hope I beat Blizzo. Clear, clear a path throughout. Amazing. Pan Snolo, Snolo, Better Call Salt, Blader Chota, Blader Tot Hot Dish. Scoop, there it is. Love that. And Sleepwood Mac. Oh, they are all amazing. I really love Blizzo um, and Cleopatra. They're my, like, favourites, I think. Someone on my town's Facebook page was angry because it wasn't, there was, the mail wasn't delivered on a Monday. Monday was a public <laughs> You know what I want to do? Because I've been listening to this podcast that someone in chat re recommended. I can't remember who it was. I'm so sorry. But someone recommended the podcast Beach Too Sandy, Water Too Wet. And it's where these people read stupid, like, bad reviews in really dramatic ways. Like, they read really funny, but terrible reviews. I want to make a podcast where I just read really dumb Facebook community posts that's what i want to do kitty lover thank you for the follow welcome into the cozy club how are you welcome welcome in not to brag but the pun game is really on point paul which one did you submit did you do all of them uh, were they all of your suggestions and if not which one did you vote for i need to know which one you voted for 
Um, happily watch that. I mean, I'm really tempted because there's some really funny things out there. How else would I know if the rubbish truck was an hour late? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You've got to have a Facebook page for your like community. We have one for like our like suburb um, and the neighboring suburb because we're two small suburbs. So we have a joint Facebook page. And the current drama is that someone complained that no one visited their hot dog stand. They were there all day and no one, they had three customers at their hot dog stand and they were really mad about it. And people pointed out it was a Monday and it was not a public holiday. People were not going to stop at a hot dog stand on a Monday. People were at work or at school. And also they never told us where the hot dog stand was. <laughs> So we still don't know where it is, but now there is like, this is now coming across into other posts. Like people will ask like, where can I find, um, you know, is there a recommendation for a good pizza shop? And people are now commenting, no, but you can buy a hot dog at the hot dog stand. <laughs> like it's becoming law in my town already. Um, suggested Kim Kardashian through the snow, which got about, oh, you know what? That's pretty good, Paul. That's great. I would have voted for that. I would have voted for yours over Better Call Salt. But still not over Blizzo. I still do really enjoy Blizzo. But I'm sorry your suggestion didn't make it. People need to learn to have taste, you know? Um, it was pretty, I think it was a pretty good one. I think that's pretty good. Um... I also have a moaners page where people just complain. See, that's fun. I like giving people a space where they can complain, like safely complain. That's nice for everyone. Um, I would love that actually, pardon me. I would love a space where I can freely complain. But then again, is that also not what I do here? Um, you know, oh look, the girlies and Kristoff's there too. Nope, he left. Okay. Um, honorable mentions, please. I'd love some honorable mentions. Um, inside jokes, inside my state, or ones that don't make sense. I'll take either. I'll take the ones with inside jokes, but I'll also take plenty that will make sense. I love a good pun. I love a good, like, silly pun. Also, side note, I have no recollection of putting this seat here, but it looks cute, so I'm going to sit. Just kidding, I can't. Really? I can't sit with Goofy? Are you joking? It's a one seat only. Um, no, you're, apparently you're taking up the entire seat, Goofy, so I'm going to leave. Unbelievable. Um, Goofy claimed the bench. He said, this is my bench. You're not welcome to sit. You know what, I didn't want to sit anyway. It looked like a lame bench. I don't know who put it there, it definitely wasn't me. It's it's lame. I'm running away. Um, I need to find Merlin, unfortunately. And surprisingly, he's not on his date with, um, with Anna. Well, it wasn't a date, was it? They were, they were at separate tables. And he couldn't stand sitting there in the same space as her and he left. I don't want to give him things, but sure. Um, I hope this works. I don't even know what this is for. Yeah, what? what is this? Oh, what? Needed this dream shards for my research? Get wrecked, Merlin. There's no spell or enchantment. You can't, you know what? What Mickey has done cannot be undone. This is what we've now learned. Melon's like, he can do a lot of magic, but he can't reserve, he can't reverse what Mickey did. Then why do you make me do all that work? Try and throw your stick at me, Merlin. Your, your magic cane, is it a cane? Whatever it is. Don't throw it at me. Um, what protects me, what protects all of us here is altogether sort of, what? what? Oh, love and care and friendship. That's what binds this valley together. But I want to fix it with magic. Needs to be shown that spirit will never leave this place. Not if Mickey can help it. 
Everyone's safe here as long as we never forget it again. I'll give that a try, sure. That sounds a bit cheesy to me, personally. Melton John, oh, amazing. Freeze Louise. Okay, my Thor I conquered. I love that. Mary Tyler Moore Snow. <laughs> Plowbunga, Snow and Tell, cute. For cold time's sake, nice. Ain't my first snow deo, I like that. And just scraping by, I love all of those. Man, there's some really good ones there. Um, is Mickey still in the shop? I'm sort of assuming she will be. Because she's really bad at being a mystery shopper. She just doesn't leave the store. The store. Also, for a really quick hot second, I thought this was like Lightning McQueen, and it's not. It's just, it's just, it's just Mike Wazinski. I thought it was, I thought it was Kachow. You know what, I'm going to buy it because from a distance, people won't know. People could think that I actually am wearing a Lightning McQueen bag, even if I'm not. Camp Scoopy, which is great because the amusement park in the middle of Mall of America, which is in our state, used to be called Camp Snoopy. Oh, see, that's fun. That's like a nice little throwback. That's pretty cool. There's some good names. Um, we had a misunderstanding. Merlin sucks, but what else is new? Caring for one another. This is so cheesy, but it's kind of cute. Anna told me no one can make her laugh like you do except maybe Olaf. Moana said she loves your strength of heart and you never give up no matter what, even when Mickey tries to kill you, apparently. Um, <laughs> um, watched all three car streams, um, streams, car three, all three car movies in one sitting after watching your streams and how much you mention it. Camille, that is the biggest compliment. If I accomplish nothing else, in my streaming life knowing that someone watched all three movies in one sitting that is all i need um i hope you enjoyed them <laughs> i hope you enjoyed cars 2 cars 2 was a little controversial so i hope you enjoyed it also cars 2 is like technically not canon but it's still it's still valid um but i hope you enjoyed them oh man i want to watch them all again i actually nearly watched them the other day i nearly watched cars 1 I think I'm going to go, I'm, I feel like I need to watch it again. It's time to watch it again. Um, I'm going to watch it soon. Oh, it's so good. They're all so good. I also have the Cars 3 Driven to Win game on the Switch. So I'm tempted to stream it soon because that's quite fun. Um, orange is glad to see me because um, M. Dot players are all painted orange and we're always glad to see them fair. That's fun. Um, confused? Kai, where are you confused? I'm probably also confused. Cars 2 was a case of what if we went nuts? Cars 2 said, what if we made Mater the main character as he should be? And it was too powerful. Like, Mater was too powerful at the end that they were like, we have to redact this. And you know what? I don't care. He's always going to be Sir Tomato for me. Enjoy the cast franchise, but that's an unpopular opinion. It should be a popular opinion. Everyone should enjoy them. They're fun. Could not be contained. Mater is too powerful. He could not be contained at all. Um. Yay, I'll always solve all the weird problems around here. Oh, what else do I have to do? <gasps> oh, she gave me some clay. Oh, I'm so glad I did this quest. It was only 50, but that's fine. Cause has so much passion and heart behind it and so much lore. I love it. Ker chow. I just love, I love Lightning McQueen. I love what a jerk he is. <laughs> Jam the people from the, oh, exactly. There are so many, like, look, there are so many ra races, races, car racing people, car races. There are people who are legitimate, like, racing drivers, like, famous drivers in the Cars movies, which I think is so cool. Like, they're playing themselves as Cars, and I think that's great. I don't know much about the car, like, the racing world. Like, I don't really follow F1 or anything, but I love the fact that those people, like, are actually in those movies. And I love Mater. 
and Lightning McQueen. He's a jerk, but he's a jerk that I will defend for the most part. Um, didn't know that? Yeah, there's quite a few. And there's people that are like very, yeah, very connected. The family that dress up in um, We Just Shop at the End and Makes Some Faint is voiced by Michael Shoemaker, who's been driving for for decades. Yeah, there's heaps of like highly connected people in that industry. I think that's just so cool. There's a few, I think there's a few drivers. I'm just having a look to see who it is. Cars, guest voices, I guess you'd call them. Um, I'm just quickly pulling up the cast list. I'm just pulling up the cast list real quick, just so I can confirm. I know there's a couple that play themselves. Um, I'm not gonna be able to find them now. Um, but I do also know that at the, you know, at the end of Cars, when, when they're like watching Pixar movies, but like carified, they've got the same voices. So like John Goodman and like Billy Crystal and Tim Allen and Tom Hanks play their respective characters from like Toy Story and like Monsters Inc. and that as Cars. And I think that's great. Um, and it just like builds on the Cars lore world, which I think is amazing. Love Cars 2, many deserve the spotlight and I die on that hill. I will die on that hill with you, Camille. I am on that hill with you. Made it deserve the best. The fact that they knighted him, they were like, he is now knighted by the car queen. And then they had to retcon it because they were like, he's too, it's too powerful. He's, he's too powerful when they've like given him that much power. It's like they, the world couldn't handle it. Two old Rusty's promoters are Tom and Ray um, Meg, 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 <laughs> Meg, 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 who ran a hilarious program called Car Talk for decades on American public radio. See, so many cool people they got involved. Oh, it's just, it's just so cool. I just love cars. I don't love cars, like real cars. <laughs> Like actual drive cars in real life. I'm not a big car person, but I love the franchise. I don't know what it is. Something about it is just, it's charming. And it, it's got Lightning McQueen and he says, wow. And then I get to say, wow. Um, what are we doing? We're doing nothing because we did, we did a quest guys. We did one quest. We found one single quest. Um, Oh, these are all locked. Okay. Oh, leveling everybody up. Okay. Well, we could give some people some gifts. Who do we need to get to level seven? Or level 10, rather. Let's just grab a few gifts to hand out. I'm just going to go and, you know. Christoph, we don't have time to make sleds. We don't have time. I need to be, like the Santa Claus of the town in the middle of June. At the beginning of June. It's not the middle of June. It's the beginning of June. Um, what can I give people? Carrot. No, actually, you're already level 10. Um, purple bellflower, maybe. An eggplant. Blue star lily, a walleye. Well, I can grab a bunch of fish and see who wants fish. Already maxed out you. I could help Nala, but I'm scared of her. Fish. Okay, let's go and just grab a fish from Moana first. Because we know I'm not fishing myself. I'm not doing that. Um, oh my god, are they... Okay, for a second I thought that Merlin was back in there on another date with Anna. And I was like, the two of you I cannot keep up. Um, Tom and Ray's dialogue in the movie is absolute character for their show is they, their shtick is giving people genuinely good advice for car ownership and repair, making fun of each other like only brothers can. I love that. Um, see, so I love people giving genuine advice for car repairs because my car needs it, honestly. I still need to get my car panels fixed from the time that I drove, um, and scraped my car. Um, on the garage wall, like on the bricks of my garage, I just, I just scraped 
my the side of my car and it's still I have not fixed it but it's like that requires like money and time and I don't have those things um so I would I I really appreciate people who know things about cars because I do not at all they're not cars that's what dads are for exactly um Actually, fun fact, my mum loves to ask me, like, I'll be like, oh, my friend got a new car. And she'll be like, oh, what kind of car? And I'm like, mm, blue. And my mum gets so mad. She's like, no, like, not mad, but she's just like, but what kind of car? And I'm like, it's blue and it's big and it's got wheels and you can get in it and move places. What more information do you need? And I understand. People just want all this info. I'm like, I do not have the info for you. Do I have something to give him? Do I? I do not. Sorry, kiddo. It's a no from me. Um, where is everybody? Um, it has four wheels and windows and windows. It's got windows. Um, it's got a horn. You can go like beep, beep. That's fun. I love to be impatient at a red light and go like beep, beep. It's green. Let's go. That's all you need. Prison mechanics for years for getting in the show. They know their stuff. Good. If you didn't have a dad who could do that, you could go to Tom and Ray for advice. Oh, I love that though. Like if you didn't have a dad to help you out, it's like it's okay. They've got you. They've got you. That's great. Do you ever use my horn? I use my horn. Yeah, I use it, I, I wait at a red, like when the light changes to green, if the car in front of me, like if I'm second and the car in front of me is like very clearly like not, like I can see through the back window, I can see that they're not looking, they're like checking down here, then I'm going to toot because otherwise they're not going to go, especially if, if I'm turning. If it's a green to turn, I'm tooting if they don't leave right away, if they don't take off because otherwise they're the only car getting through when they realise and that's not fair. And the other time that I use my horn is when I accidentally press it when I'm climbing into the car, which happens more often than you think. Um, I quite regularly get into the car with all of my bags and my bits and bobs and I just I just bump the wheel and I scare myself every time. Um, it's great. Um, honk at wildlife more than people. Oh, you honk at cars? At, um, at cows? Not cars. You honk at, ca at cows? I actually, I would do the same. Um, turkeys have learned they're safe fish in the city. I don't trust a turkey in the city. Um, my town, oh, that's right. Alia doesn't have traffic lights. Alia, you don't have to deal with traffic lights. You're fine. You just go when you want. That's fine. Um, are you avoiding them? Maybe you need car, um, cow traffic lights just for the cows. Turkey and deer, terrifying. We have, um, kangaroos and cows but the cows aren't usually on the road the kangaroos might be in that case of honking at people because sometimes people switch lanes without looking that's fair enough that's fair enough i would treat them too i would honk at someone if they change lanes with no warning or i give them like a face i give them like a if they look back they see me going actually you know what i'd love to do i want to do this more often if i don't treat my horn but someone like cuts in front of me I just do this just like disappointed like I'm not giving them the finger I'm just letting them know like your actions are not appropriate um turkeys are dangerous now when they're undercooked <laughs> true very true oh you don't want any of these fish why don't you want any of these fish no one wants anything that I'm giving them Oh, Moana, do you want a fish that I just got from your boat? That I stole from you? That would send me into an existential crisis. <laughs> exactly. That's why I want to do it. Just, how would you feel if you got in front of someone and you look back and they're just like, like they're not angry, they're just disappointed. Like I think they're cassowaries, but they're overgrown chickens with delusions of grandeur. That is the best description of a turkey I've ever seen. Do I have a walleye? I do. Good. Um, yeah, everyone should just give thumbs down more often, I think. 
I feel like it's more effective than giving the finger to someone. Like next time you want to flip a bird, like flip the bird, just thumbs down. I thought that said emos. <laughs> like this took a dark turn. <laughs> um, true, emus, like, <gasps> Ali, do you live near emus? I've never seen emus in the wild, but I've seen kangaroos in the wild. I would be terrified if I saw an emu in the wild because I'd be like, what if they mistake me for someone that they, like, went up against in the war, in the Great Emu War? What if there was someone in the war that looked like me and the emu doesn't know any better and so it thinks that I'm the villain and I'm just, like, trying to drive here? Close to the coast. They've got that coast beach life. Emus are living better than I am. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, sure, Moana, what's your idea? So, Lollies, when you're a kid, when, see, this, this great emu war is ongoing. People are like, oh, the war is over. I'm like, I don't think it is. They stole Alia's lollies. The fight must continue. Um, I'm going to be broken. <laughs> acting, method acting goes too far. No. Don't method act that hard, please. Um, oh, they're remembering. They're remembering. I think this is part of, maybe this is connected to the new update. Or maybe not. Maybe this is just part of a quest. But I know there is a remembering storyline happening soon. I think the new Disney Dreamlight update, the new Dreamlight update is maybe going to include, like, the remembering. Um, Streamlabs, calm down, please. Streamlabs is like, I'm awake. And I'm like, okay, I see. Um... Oh gosh, Mamana, you need to clean up around here. You know what? <laughs> I sound like, I feel like one of the Animal Crossing villagers being like, hmm, what are you doing? What's all this mess? You know when they come to visit and you're like in the middle of rearranging your house and then you try to keep going and they're like, um, no, you're not allowed, you're not allowed to redecorate when I'm here, please. Pop off Streamlabs, honestly. They come in this month, it's all about the remembering. Yes, the remembering is happening. Soon this month at some point. Um, ooh, a memory has appeared. Is it me remembering the time, the last time I had to clean up her house? What do you think I am? I ain't your maid. She's like, can you come over and clean up my house? Okay, bye. Remembering, she's like, bitch, you better work. She really is putting me to work. Magic flowers? Oh, we have to go and pick flowers. That sounds kind of cute. I'll do that over fishing any day. Um, remembering sounds terrifying as a concept. It kind of does sound terrifying, actually, doesn't it? The remembering is happening soon this month at some point. <laughs> me when I got something important to do, but don't quite know what, honestly me when I'm like I've got something important coming up soon I don't know what it is but it's important and it's happening soon um do you claim the new redemption code hidden in the recent roadmap I did not wait a minute I'm gonna do that now and then everyone else can do it if you need to hang on roadmap I probably should specify dreamlight roadmap roadmap Um, redeem. Oh, it's in the binary code? What? That is insane. Hang on, I'm, I'm, okay. I found it. Pixel. Wait, there's a few more that I don't think I've grabbed in the past. Oh my God, there's like a page that shows you all of the like new codes. This is so exciting. Um, stand non-binary code in this chat too. We do, we stand all, um, non-binary and binary. Um, happy Pride Month, everyone. It's June. Happy Pride Month. Indeed. Um, but in this instance, we are going to grab, oh, what do I go in? Where is it? Controls? No. Help. Help. It was in help. 
Oh my gosh. Claim! Oh, this is so embarrassing. I'm out of sync. <laughs> out of sync by 24 days. Um, that's a bit rude. Um, yes, happy Pride, everyone. Um, there's actually like a bunch of things that I haven't grabbed. I'm just going to quickly grab a few others. There's this one. Foff Glitter. <gasps> oh my gosh. Does everyone know about these? I have not time traveled, I promise. I don't know how to time travel in this game. I'm on PC. Um, I'm just, I'm just redeeming my Foff Trophy. Got to get your Foff, your Foff Trophy. Um, how is it, maybe, maybe it's because I haven't played for 24 hours, 24 days? I have played it for 20, I've played within the last 24 days, I thought. I'm confused. Um, did you know that there was a thing? There is a list of redemption codes. I'm going to pop the link in the chat if anyone else wants them. Imagine if I got banned for posting a link in my own chat. Um, there's like a bunch of things you can go, you can grab. Um, um, I'm just called Festival of Foolishness. There we go. Foff surprise kit. It is the Festival of Foolishness, but it's also just Foff. Um, don't play it. Uh, yeah, I've definitely played it in the last 24 days. Absolutely. Ban 20 placing links. Don't ban me. You can cancel me, but don't ban me, please. Um, Foff Crafty. Doing the code, um, to reset my profile because some shit was stuck in the game. Back to square one. Oh no, back to square one. Oh, I'm so sorry. So you back like beginning of the game? Oh, that's rough. But also you get to like experience it all again. That's kind of fun. Um, what else do I need to grab that I haven't already? Did I do souvenir? I can't remember. Okay, I'll do more later, but there we go. Um, that's the worst square. Square one is the worst square of all. No offense to square one. Um, you know, it's, I'm sure it has its moments. I'm sure it's not always a bad square, but generally, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty bad square to be at. Um, all right, well, we grabbed a couple there though. That's good. I didn't know there were so many. I don't pay attention to the Discord. I probably should. I know a lot of handy things happen in the Discord. So I should really follow it more. Ah, oh, no, I hate this. <gasps> no, I hate this. I'm stuck. Oh God, oh God, oh God. There's too many and they're too far apart. This is rude. Ah, where's the other one? Where's the other coin? Oh man, the other coin was, was hidden. That's rude. Um, I got that one there instead. Um, this called usually where things are leaked first. I see. I need to pay attention more. Um. Okay. I was running, but like, why? Where was I going? Oh, I have mail. We'll check the mail now. Um. No, I can't because my inventory is full. Can I collect these things? <gasps> Claim. Oh, just kidding. <gasps> okay, I got this one. <gasps> Enjoy um, these Wreck-It Ralph items get, to get your values ready for Vanellope. She's coming! Vanellope's on her way. Oh, we're going to have to make like a little Vanellope space. Or can I put them in my house? Can I have a gaming room? I know I have an empty room somewhere. Is it this one? No, this is my funky little bedroom. Let's try again. That's my storage room. Oh no, it's upstairs. I have a bunch of upstairs rooms that are like blank. Let's make this, excuse me, Moana. Not that I invited you, Moana, but anyway. Um, there we go. Um, furniture. Can I sort by new or no? I don't think I can. So I'm just going to look for it down here somewhere. Coin game. Oh, this is so cute. 
And gaming machines, stop, I love this. Okay, and then let's go, let's pick some fun wallpaper. This is so obnoxious, I love this room already. This room is the most obnoxious room we could possibly have. Oh, actually that's probably more vanilla appropriate. It's like melting candy. Um, and some obnoxious flooring, maybe? That's my, that's maybe too much. I think that's fine. Like, I don't want it to be too much, you know? It just needs to be just enough. Can we play? We can't even play. I want to beat the top score. As if I could. <laughs> I'm like, I'm such a good gamer. I would absolutely be able to, you know, beat the top score. I actually probably could not at all. Um, actually, has, speaking of like top scores, has anyone played Ooblets? Because there's a section in Ooblets, which by the way, I am obsessed with Ooblets. It's such a cute game. Um, but there's a section in Ooblets, there's like a bunch of little arcade games and you have to get the top score in every game for the storyline. I just gave, I just handed the switch over to Lockie and was like, this is your time to shine. This is not my time to shine. I will not. Oh, my inventory is full. How? Oh, it's because I got all the fish. Okay, let's see if anyone wants a fish. Um, keep hearing about Ooblets, but have no information on it. Ooblets is fun and cozy. It's kind of like a cross between... It's an elaborate joke. It's an elaborate joke that I actually have been planning um, for months. Um, so thank you to everyone who's been participating in the prank. Um, thank you to everyone who's been talking about ooblets to Paul when I'm not around. I appreciate you, you know, helping out with that. Um, I don't have any fish for you. Everyone wants fish sometimes. Perch. Do we have a perch? I have a white sturgeon. He can have that. Um, but yeah, it's funny. I've never actually streamed Ooblets, but I've played a lot of Ooblets um, on the Switch. It's just like a really cozy game. It's kind of like a combination of like Pokemon and Stardew maybe. Um, so I was talking about Ooblets last night and all I could say about it was Georgie plays I do play it. I haven't played it recently, but I did play it a lot. Like, when did I get it? I can't remember. I went through a phase and I was playing it like every day. Like every, if I wasn't streaming, like on every night that I wasn't streaming, I was just like playing Ooblets. Um, it's just like really, really cute. It's very like cute games, like cute, um, storyline. Um, and you're like collecting these little creatures. So it's kind of like Pokemon. You go out in the wild and like collect them. But the way that you obtain them is that when you find an ooblet, like a type of ooblet, you have to dance battle them with like cards. It's like a card system. Um, and it's a dance battle. And then if you win the battle, then you get an ooblet seed and you plant an ooblet seed. And then you water it every day and eventually boop, you get an ooblet. Maybe I'll play it soon. I've, I've actually finished the main storyline, so there's not like a lot for me to do anymore. I just kind of like check in on my ooblets. I'm trying to collect them all. There's like shinies, like not shinies, but like they're called gleamies and it's like special versions of each ooblet and you can collect them. Game of Dance Battles and I'm not playing it. Yeah, how are you not playing it? You like card games? I do like card games. I love a bit of solitaire, you know? Marvel's Midnight Suns. Ooh. Let me write that down. Oh, what's happening? Oh my gosh. Sorry, just more hot dog saga in my Facebook, um, local Facebook page. Marvel's Midnight Suns. I spelled that all wrong, but you know what? It doesn't matter because it figured it out. Tactical role-playing game. Ooh, interesting. Ooh. I'm intrigued. Um, your fairy solitaire. Listen, I love fairy solitaire. I'm a big fairy solitaire fan. I have that on the Switch. I'm not Switch. I have that on Steam. 
And last year it was like my top played, um, top played game. <laughs> I only play because there's no romance options. I'll look into it. There is no romance options in Ooblets, unfortunately, um, which is sad. But you can befriend the villagers and they are very quirky and very silly. And there's dance battles. It's it's pretty great. Um, I've already given them a fish, so no more fish for you, sir. Who else wants a fish and do I have the fish? Um, 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 who else do I need to level up? Oh, you at some point. Pumpkin? Oh, getting fancy. Excuse you. Tuna, maybe. Um, all right, we'll see if we can find them. Um, but yeah, I do like to play games where I can romance people, but... I will, I still recommend ooblets and it's also just really cute and there's like farming options and you can have your ooblets like working for you in the farm, which is kind of like, are they my little tiny slaves or are we all just like working together? I'm not quite sure, but it's cute anyway. And there is like an underlying storyline about like capitalism, which is quite fun. Last time I had a dance off, it went kind of bad. It was San Francisco in 1906. What happened? What went down in 1906? I don't know my San Francisco 1906 history. I'm so sorry. But um, I'm glad you survived. Um, well, was there a war? Was there a dance battle war? I'm afraid. Um, who was I going to go and talk to? I was going to give someone a gift. Who knows who it was, but I'm going to run around anyway. Um, fell over. What did you do? I'm concerned. Was there an earthquake? <laughs> we had an earthquake in Melbourne the other week and everyone in Melbourne was talking about it on Twitter the second that it finished. Pardon me. And I know this. 7.9. Okay. So the Melbourne earthquake was like a 3.8 maybe the other day. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Paul, you got to be more careful when you have your dance battles. Look what happened. Yeah, we had a Melbourne earthquake the other night. It was like 11.42 p.m. And the second that it finished and I was like, I think we just had an earthquake. I opened Twitter and Melbourne earthquake was already trending on Twitter because that is the first thing that everyone in Melbourne, that's what we do. If there's an earthquake, we jump on to... Um, we just jump on, pardon me, onto Twitter. It made news in Sydney, which is so crazy because it was such a minor earthquake. Like there was no damage really. Like no one got injured. It was like a blip. Like my partner slept through it. He woke up when I got out of bed. He was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm checking on the cat because of the earthquake. And he was like, what earthquake? And I was like, the earthquake that just happened a minute ago. And he missed it. But that's also how small it was. Um, so I don't do them anymore, that's fair. That's a good reason to avoid dance battles because there's not many good reasons to avoid a dance battle. Like you should generally always get involved in dance battles because they're just going to be fun. But in that case, that's that's fair enough. Um, Natural's also got to tweet about it. You know what? Any kind of chaos, you got to tweet about it, you know? you got to do it. Um, all right, I've given you your gift. Do I need to... What, what level are we at with Merlin? Level 10. Great, I don't have to give him anything. As we, um, of my brother when my oven caught on fire and he called his friends and did a play-by-play -play instead of helping. <laughs> oh my god. Um, that's very helpful. That's very helpful for me. Um, very quick headline, but the massive building fire in Surrey Hills took precedent in the news. I did see that building fire. That was a little more dramatic. That did require a little more attention. Absolutely. Um, I hope everyone's okay after that. I saw clips of that. That looked very scary. Um, also, where am I going? Who can we give gifts to? I think I just need to go back to the house and like... Oh, I do actually. I think I have a fish. Oh, do you need a gift? Can I give you a fish? A white bellflower? Nope, I haven't got that. 
Orange. Nope, can't give you that. Okay, never mind. Dad called me in the middle of the night some years ago talking about how much damage it had in an earthquake. He sent a picture of a lamp that had fallen over. You know, every time there is an earthquake in Melbourne, someone always posts on Twitter a picture of like lawn chairs where like one's tipped over and it's like that meme. It's like, we will rebuild. It gets posted every time there's a Melbourne earthquake. Um, putting all of my flowers in here. That's all there is. Is there any, any flowers I have? Boo, I thought I had more flowers in here, but never mind. Um, we will rebuild, yes. It's the same, yes. Okay. Um, can I... Ah, oh, this is getting messy. These are all seeds. These are not... They should not be in here. Okay, um, and this is why my inventory is full because I keep doing this. Okay, let's split that. Someone wants a shiny citrine, I think, but I'll have to figure that out. Um, hydrate and stretch. Thank you, Raheem. Thank you for the little stretch and hydrate. Oh. Um, not like... Uh, the East Coast is something of hotspot for earthquakes too. Not like California, but still fairly active. Ooh. See, Melbourne's not like a hotspot for them, but we get them like every other year or so. We might have like a small one. Um, and we're lucky that they are like, they are just small, but it's still scary every time because you don't know. You don't know how big it's going to be. Like one of them I remember was like a four point something. Um, how do I split like one was it was like maybe a little no it must have been like a five and it was big enough that it was pretty scary I remember like standing in a doorway being like oh my god this is freaking me out so there's we've definitely had scary ones just finally finished harvesting planting and watering 292 pumpkins Andrea that is so many pumpkins I'm impressed I don't have the patience I've got like 99 and I don't, I don't water them. I've got 99 pumpkins that are not doing well. Um, so much. <laughs> oh, good storm. I was like, what are you gambling? We don't have gambling in here. No gambling. <laughs> I was too invested. I got invested. I was like, what are you gambling away? Like your potatoes, your hash browns? I don't think you can do that. Can you? Could I make people do that? Gambling beans? <laughs> could I make, could I, could people gamble their hash browns? That would be interesting. See, now I'm interested, now I'm intrigued. Can we do that? I'm intrigued. I'm getting curious about this now. <laughs> Um, Lost Jolly, thank you for uh, the follow. Welcome into the Cozy Club. Um, what is that quick pumpkin money? It's good pumpkin money, Andrea. It's good pumpkin money. I just got lazy. Oh, look, actually, they're ready to collect. Mine are ready. I'll get them soon. Um, so Lost Jolene, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome in. Um, look into gambling nuggies on Maddie's stream. Honestly, I'm, I'm wondering if Mix It Up can do that. I know that you can do like games in Mix It Up with the Mix It Up bot. Like I can do hot potato, I think. And like there's a heist option that I haven't really done anything with. But now I'm worried I have heist turned on on two different bots. <laughs> I've got a feeling that Streamlabs and also Mix It Up will both start heists, which could be chaotic if anyone ever did exclamation mark heist. There could be two heists running and I don't know how that would go. I'm going to quickly double check that now, actually. Where do I find that? <laughs> ah, it's a heist. Okay. Oh, we have a heist. Just one. Okay, good. That's probably for the best. I don't even know where it would be. I know that it's like an option. Okay, it does just mix it up. Um... Heist is happening. 
How do you play? I think you just do like exclamation mark highest. And then I'm just like looking, <laughs> having a look now. Um, oh, one second. Um, oh, it happened. Oh my gosh, the heist happened. <laughs> I didn't know the how, I don't know how it happened. Um, you got fries though, exciting. I don't know how this works. This is me just like adding things into the stream and being like, I don't know how that works, but there it is. Um, Played a bunch of payday last night, so my high muscles are all stretched out. I'm ready to go. Oh, and you got some fries. There you go. Um, so distracted, but I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, Mix It Up has like an option for heist, and there's different like percentages um, of like like the outcome. I don't know how it's like how it's organized, but there you go. Uh, so people have fries. I would love to see if people could gamble their, their hash browns. That would be fun. But anyway, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> um, I don't know how we can gamble. I shouldn't be promoting gambling. Don't gamble everything. Don't do it. I'm looking. I don't know how to do it. Probably separate, probably a separate thing. It must be a separate thing because I don't know how it works. <laughs> um, modules. Oh, <gasps> oh, hang on. Oh, it's because I don't have loyalty points set up there, do I? Turn them off, who knows? Um, <gasps> oh, it has a lot of fries. Oh my goodness, everyone has fries. This is so exciting. Look at all your fries. You've been collecting them when you didn't even know. I hope that they still taste okay. I don't know how long they've been in your pockets. Are you packing heavy ballistic armor? <laughs> armor grenades, minigun, and rocket launcher. Hmm? Uh, doing really well, that's good to hear. I'm glad, Jolene, that's good to hear. Um, how does Paul have more? I don't know how Paul has more. He's just been around long enough to collect them. Um. Chimelance is running the gambling in Star's chat. Interesting. I think mum will have to be mix it up. Who knows? Um, can we have 699 fries? Nice. Let's go. Nice number. Impressive. Um, excited about update five. I am excited for the new update. I'm really keen. I don't know when it's happening, but I'm excited for it. Um, I'm very keen for it to all happen. Um... I want to know how everyone can gamble away their goodies. It would be something. I'll have to work that out. I'm going to find a way for you to gamble away your fries if you want. Next next stream. Next stream you'll be able to do that. <laughs> Probably because American portions of fries are way bigger. Probably. This is the reason I want to go to America because I want American, like, American sized fries. That's what I crave. Um, also, I love that the foliage is only semi working. Are they Macca's fries? And are they Macca's hash browns? That's a bigger question. Just because I'm thinking about Macca's. Oh man, now I want Macca's hash browns and a McFlurry, but not at the same time, but also could have them at the same time. Streamlabs doesn't like Paul. <laughs> Streamlabs, you know, Streamlabs is a little bit picky sometimes. Not as picky and fussy as Nightbot, but still a little bit picky. Don't do quality so good, but boy, do we have the quantity you make up for it. You heard the phrase quality, not quantity, and you were like, mm, let's flip that and try that. 
You're not, yeah, Alia doesn't like Nightbot. Nightbot did not treat Alia well. And you know what I did for you, Alia? I got rid of Nightbot. I was like, not in my household, not in my chat. Don't be rude to Alia. And I said, bonk. And Nightbot got banned. Also, Nightbot was confusing. I said it. Um, Nightbot started in flights and couldn't finish because I banned it before it could. <laughs> I'm in control here. Not a day goes by where I don't think about Macca's fries. Not a day goes by where I'm not thinking about Macca's hash browns. Honestly. Why is my inventory so full? This is making me sad. It's too full. I can't handle it. I don't like it. Um, just want to talk about Josie and the Pussycats and Nightbot was like, um, <laughs> scandalous. Maybe, I don't know, maybe Nightbot thought you were talking about Josie and the Pussycats from Riverdale and it was like, um, no thank you. And it didn't realise that you weren't talking about that one. It got confused. That's all. Um, sandwich up chain that known for deliveries, they make 16 inch sub sandwiches that are enough for like four people. But do people order them for themselves? Just just one. People say, no, I'm ordering a 16 inch sub just for me, thanks. Good for them. Honestly, good for them. If that's what you want to do. That's what you're gonna do. Do myself one. I feel like it see that thing is it's like that's a big sub. But you know what? You deserve a treat. It's like <laughs> um, you know what? If you deserve it, why not go for it? You deserve a sixteen-inch sub sandwich. That would be exhausting to eat, though. I feel like I'd get tired eating. I feel like I would get tired halfway through and be like, I, I would move on. I'd be like, I'm not feeling like it anymore. Um. Okay, I've given you hot cocoa. Can I make hot cocoa? Can I make that? I'll make it for Nala. Maybe she'll stop being mean to me. Paul's tummy is a separate and endless plane of reality. What's your secret? I would love my tummy to be a separate plane of reality. That would be actually be amazing. My tummy is, it brings me down to reality. Like I try to live on an endless plane of reality and then my tummy is like, ha ha ha, back down to earth, thank you. And it like pulls me down and it's really rude. I'm not a fan. So you guys being... <laughs> but you get to enjoy like a, a big sub sandwich. I can't do that. A tiny bit of onion and I am like out. I'm just like lying there like dead to the world. Um, at least about your size, but you get to enjoy food. I had mac and cheese for dinner and my body was like, was that too much cheese? And I was like, no, it was not. And it is my kryptonite, it is my kryptonite. But then sometimes just like mac and cheese is my kryptonite too, for no reason. Maybe it was the garlic. Maybe it's because I added a bunch of garlic powder, but I would do it again. And I would eat onion if if the world required me to. I don't know why the world would, but I would do it. And then I would like chug down some Gaviscon to like counteract that. Love me some good Gaviscon. Any day of the week. Um, I'm going to grab one of those. There we go. Someone wanted an eggplant. I don't know who it was. I think Maui wanted an eggplant. We'll give it to him. Oh, mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. But I am trash and I love the frozen mac and cheese. Like, it's like the frozen, it's in the frozen aisle of Woolies. And it's like got garlic Dijon mustard mixed in and you just microwave it and it is so good. I don't care that it's a frozen meal. It is so good. Um, did you see my vampire freedom Thomas ran on TikTok? I didn't! Storm, I'll have to, um, I'll have to look it up afterwards. Um, I'm intrigued on this rant. Um, blow up his earth unless George eats an onion. I'd watch that movie. Um, but it would be painful for me to be in the movie. Imagine if there was a movie and, like, the world would be, like, ending unless I ate an onion. 
that would be rough. That would be rough. Um, Ali and Drea Lurk. Haven't had Maccas in Yonkers. I crave them every day. Charlotte, do you live near a Maccas? Can you get to a Maccas? I know sometimes people just don't live near Maccas and that makes me really sad because I live um, very close to a Maccas and I would not survive if I didn't. Like, I love the fact that I can just go to Maccas. Onions are good. Onions are evil, actually. Did you not know that onions are actually evil? Payment link. Cause that lactose. Oh, hiccups. Um, cause that lactose intolerant peeps. I feel like I'm lactose intolerant sometimes. I think my body is just like, you can't have onion, but if you haven't had onion today, let's make something else a problem. Which, you know, valid, I guess. Oh, I've got to make... Can I make fish tacos? Do I have the recipe for fish tacos? Um, McDonald's is not my thing. Macca's is, listen, it's my thing. It's my jam. It's okay. If it's not your thing, it's my thing. That's fine. Fish taco. Do we not have a fish taco recipe? <gasps> no, I don't want to make crudités. I want to make fish tacos. Are they not in my collection? Cooking. Um, also, I've got to give Lily second dinner in a moment. She is sleeping behind me, but her food is out and waiting downstairs. Fish tacos. Okay. Who knows off the top of their head how to make fish tacos specifically in this game? <laughs> or do I have to look it up? Arby's is my um, junk food dealer of choice. Sucker for brisket. Even really bad brisket. Going to get food? All good. No worries. Um... I, you do? Amazing. Well, I am going to quickly go and give my cat her second dinner because she needs it. Uh, she's, I mean, she's just currently napping behind me, but she will want it in a second. The question is, can I grab her in time for like a little cheeky cat cameo? Can we do it? Your dinner? You had second dinner? All of a sudden she's awake. Interesting. If I stand, she might get excited. You guys can see her. She's in the box there. <laughs> and here we go. If I jump into... <laughs> Void. This is her cat carrier that we use to take her to the VET. Um, but she just like, chills in here. She just sleeps there. Can you see her eyes? I can't even tell. I don't think you can. No. Um, well, I'm going to see if I can get her to go and have some dinner. Um, so I'll be back in a moment. Um, if you need to grab snacks, this is a good chance. Grab food, hydrate. Um, I'll see you in a moment with a cat that will have been fed. Um, I'm back in a minute.
I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Sorry, I had to, um, I'm back. Rogue. Hello. Welcome in. How are you doing? Good to see you. Um, yes, sorry. I am, I am back. I had to, um, just check on my, I had to give Lily dinner, which I did. She's eating. She's happy. Uh, and I had to check on my boyfriend because he's a bit sick at the moment. So just checking in on him. Um, cause he's going to bed. <laughs> So I gotta keep my, I gotta make sure I don't get too wild. It's okay, it's not that kind of stream, we'll be fine. If I was playing, if I was doing Fortnite, which I am doing this month, um, then that would be panicking. Um, but I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, we were about to make some fish tacos. Andrea has given me the recipe. Thank you, appreciate it. Cause I didn't wanna have to go looking for <laughs> For the, for the recipe. Let's do a perch. And then we need, was it corn? Chili and cheese. Oh, do I have everything? I have cheese. Do I have chili? Do I have chili? They're right there. Chili peppers. That's right. Yeah. Fish tacos. Done. Done. Okay. So we can give that to someone. Someone wanted fish tacos. Who wanted fish tacos though? That's the question. Vegetarian. Who was I making that for? I'm now confused. Anyway. Um, pumpkin. Soil. We can get soil. Who wanted a fish taco? I'm so confused. Who did I make that for? Oh, I made a for Mirabelle, <laughs> right at the very bottom. Um, okay. Then we can get a white marsh milkweed or a blue passion lily. I might even have these already in here. In here. Um, white marsh milkweed. I have a white daisy. Oh, I have one of these. Perfect. All right, that's for Buzz. What else did other people want? A purple bell flower. Do I have that? Um, also, why does this song have dialogue in it? I can't stand when they do that. This is just like a long lo-fi playlist I'm listening to. Like, it's not even a playlist. It's a video. <laughs> I'm using a 12-hour copyright-free <laughs> play video on YouTube. So let's hope that works. Um, Charlotte's making lunch. Enjoy your lunch. I hope it's tasty. Um, and I hope you have fun making your lunch. Enjoy your luck. Um, what else am I making? What else am I grabbing? Bellflower. Purple bellflower. Not in here. That's fine. That's fine. What did other people want? Soil. We need to get soil. That's rich soil. Also, we don't want rich soil. We just want soil. Oh. Split one. There we go. Okay. That's the wrong door. <laughs> I don't know how to get around my own house. I have no idea what's going on at any given time. Just in case anyone was wondering, in case anyone wasn't sure, that's how I'm feeling. Um... Okay, Mirabella. Mirabelle. Where is she? Literally where oh she's sleeping? I just made her fish tacos. Are you joking? That's so rude. Um fine. Okay, what did Prince Eric want? Um asparagus. Well, I can grab some asparagus for him real quick. I will do that. I'm hoping it's in the fridge. If it's not, then what am I even doing here? It's not. What am I even doing here? <laughs> um, great. Well, I don't know. Oh, I have salmon. <gasps> I need salmon for a quest. I'll put that over here just in case. And I will put my carp away. Um, I have asparagus in my pocket the whole time. Oh, my God. 
is why I shouldn't try and do quests because I won't do them right. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, oh, where did he go? Eric? Rude. Okay. Um, I'm just going to check. I think we grabbed something for uh, Olaf. He wanted soil. He wanted soil. Oh, cute. They're having a little friendship date. Oh, that's cute. Um, I'm just interrupting real quick to give you some soil. Don't mind me. Just here to give gifts. Um, can't talk right now. Moana is like, when are you getting my flowers? And I'm like, listen, um, not right now because... That's a quest, and that requires me paying attention to things. I would prefer to run around in my little silly bucket hat. <laughs> I never get sick of that. Um, thank you for the biddies, Paul. Um, you have returned. You have indeed. You have absolutely indeed returned. And what a what a return. What a way to make an entrance. I love it. Um, but me, how is the game going? Game is going good, Craig. We are we are making some progress, are we? Not actually unsure. Um, but we're having fun. Is that the wrong flower? I need a blue bell flower. I don't know where they where they're from. So I'm just gonna run around. Um, oh, that's a blue bellflower. Who wanted that? Someone wanted a blue bellflower. Purple bellflower. Stitch wanted that and I got him. Did I grab the right one? <gasps> no, there. I grabbed the wrong flowers. I grabbed them for nothing. Um, didn't see my comment. I didn't. Greg, I, <laughs> I was like, what happened? I was like, enough about me. And I said, you didn't even start. Oh, there we go. Now you've started. Um, feeling very chuffed. So a local lesbian group is doing a Twitch live. So I was like, I'll join. Very much a newbie introducing myself. I decided I was the hottest woman on the planet. Spent my morning being adored by lesbians and drinking coffee. What a way to start your morning, truly. Happy Pride indeed. Um, that is incredible. What a way to start your morning. That sounds fantastic. Um, I'm so happy for you. That sounds so nice. Ah. Oh. I would love that. What a treat. What a treat. Um, um, and food was obtained to Paul. How was the food? Was the, f was the food good? Is it good food? I hope it's good food. Um, I'm heading to bed now. I need to be up early to prepare lesson plans for when I start casual teaching. Oh, Andrew, you're exciting. I hope it goes well. Um, yes, I hope you enjoy the lesson planning. Um, but thank you for hanging out. Thank you for chatting. Enjoy the rest of your night. Have a good sleep. Um, and I hope, I hope teaching goes well. I'm going to give him some asparagus. Because I accidentally have 46 asparaguses in my pocket. I don't know why. <gasps> Level 8. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, wait. I can look fancy? Wait, I want to look fancy. Wait a minute. I want to look fancy. Hang on. Wardrobe change time. Ah. Oh. I, this doesn't go with the bucket hat, but that's okay. We can fix it. We can fix it. Um, maybe with a skirt. Can we put it with a skirt, actually? Is there a skirt that goes with this? Ideally not with the pants underneath, just going to say. <gasps> this is kind of serving a look right now. Actually, this is like serving a little bit of cheerleader, a little bit of like Taylor Swift, you belong with me cheerleader. Um, yes, we are going with this. We are just adding to the look. Yes. And then change the hat to something else. Um, pretty good fruit, I'm glad, good to hear. Um, I'm glad it wasn't bad food. That'd be disappointing. Being friendly and they're all going, oh my god, I need a cold shower. She's mine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Great, that sounds so fun. Ah, oh, what a dream. 
Um, have a good night, you too, Andrea. Like your evil squirrel of darkness. Thank you. My evil squirrel of darkness is just like hanging out. It's fine. It's just he's just like being there for vibes. Evil squirrel is just a reminder of like my dark side. If anyone was wondering. Yeah, punky boots with it. Ooh. I need ones that go. Maybe those? I feel like they're the wrong colour. I feel like we'd need these if, these are, if if they had a bit of blue or yellow in it, I think it would work. I don't know if that works as much. Like I like it. I just don't know if they work as much as I want them to. Maybe that kind of does that. Actually, that's got blue on it. That kind of works. Um, and then we need to find the right hat. Perfect. You just need to have a, like, not very likely to have some head crusher boots, but it gives us this. It doesn't have head crusher boots, but we have this one. Um, another look, another look. Oh, this is kind of cute. This kind of goes together, but I, yeah, I do want to try the cowboy hat. Oh, the cowboy hat actually looks quite good. Oh, there's so many options. Oh my God, there's so many possible. Oh, this is cute. This is very Disney. This is fun. I don't know, actually. I can't choose. Oh, we've got a lot of really solid options. Um, oh, it's going to be Team Cowboy Hat because it's me. Listen, I love I love the cowboy hat. I generally wear the cowboy hat most of the time. I think maybe we'll try. I feel like this ties in together nicely. Or do we want a yeehaw? Do we want like a bit of Mickey and Minnie or do we want a yeehaw? Or a watch out. I think we want a bit of a yee-haw. I think that works. I just wish we could change this to like blue or something. Can we make our own hat? No, we can only make ears. Rude. Oh, and also um, I need to add something on the, on the back. What can we do? What have we got? Just a classic backpack. Decontamination. I'm here to work. Women in cowboy hat is just does some good she. Yeah, this is this is a good look actually. This is cute. The waffle backpack. Actually, yeah, I think we're gonna go waffle backpack. I think this is the new look. I think this is a good look. I'm happy with it. I feel like, I feel like it's working. Done. And we got little, some little points. Fun. Yeah, I'm happy with this outfit. I might change the hat. Oh, see, I'm not 100% with the hat though, am I? I'm not 100% on board for the hat. I don't know why. Something's not, something's not doing it. It's, it's the brown. I wish it was like a lighter colour. I tell you, I'm going to keep it and see if it grows on me. Let's see. Where's Australia is basically Yeehaw England. It basically is. We are basically Yeehaw England. Absolutely. Um, I thought I was at a convention and my friend was gender bent. Mr. Marston cosplay. Mrs. Marston was a look. I don't know, Mr. Marston. I'm so sorry, but sounds like a vibe. Um, also, side note, I'm going to Comic-Con like next weekend, or, like this weekend, and I'm so excited. I haven't been to Comic-Con in years. I have no idea what to expect. I'm not like dressing up fancy or anything. Like, I'm not doing any cosplay because I'm not prepared, even though I've had time to plan. But I'm just going to go for like the vibes and I want to try and find some fun cosplays to like admire and be in awe of. Yeehaw England is hilarious. That's where I live. Yeehaw England. Yeehaw. 
said in a thick Australian accent. As Englishmen can confirm this is true. <laughs> Rain's like, yes. We are the ye the yeeha. Oh, hello Lily, thank you for barging in. Oh, is it burger cat time? What? Oh my gosh. It was I it was meant to be burger cat time, but someone someone said she was organized at the beginning of stream and then actually forgot to turn on the camera for her burger cam. So she was unable to turn on burger cam. <laughs> where is it? Burger, where you at? She's right there, I promise. I swear she's there. No one's going to believe me, but she's there. How do I get it? <laughs> there she is. She's there. She's arrived. You know, yeehaw whales. Are we yeehaw whales? Whales is already yeehaw enough. <laughs> New South Wales is a thing. New South Wales is a thing. It absolutely is. Um, which is so weird. So many of like, there's so many places that are so boringly named. Like they just added new at the beginning. It's lazy. I'm sorry. Going to the convention in about a month. I'm going to dress up, but I can't choose between four fits. <gasps> four fits? What are the four fits? I'll help. I, I, I will do my best to help anyway. So who do we have left to give things to? I got things for people. Who needs... Who am I looking for right now? Um, let me go through and have a look. Um, yeah, what are the options? Um, we still haven't found... Where can I get a purple bell flower? Forest. Oh, we're going to go to the forest. Okay. <gasps> Stop! Hold up! Wait a minute. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. Welcome in, everybody. Oh, my goodness. So embarrassing. I don't have a burger cam up here. Now I do. There she is. She's here. Um, welcome in, everybody. Star, how are you? How was your stream? Hello, Kobo. Welcome in. Live in Limbo. Welcome in. Um, Z Lath, welcome in. Hello, hello. Welcome in, Raiders. Um, Mrs. J17, hello. Welcome in. How are we all? Welcome in. Um... Start. My brain just stopped. My brain stopped. It's back. It's back. The cozy vibes are back. Um, hi. Hi, Storm. Um, how are you doing? Star, you're doing... Oh, that's right. You're doing Grimoire Grooves. Um, amazing. How was it? And also, how is Everdream Valley going? Because I'm really intrigued. It's on my wish list now. Um, are you still enjoying it? Do you recommend? Do you recommend? Also, yes, everyone join the heist. I'm, I'm joining the heist. Can I join the heist? I'm joining the heist. I don't know if I can, but I'm joining. <laughs> I set it up, but I'm like, can I be a part of this? Um, but I hope you had an amazing time, um, Star. I hope you had a great, great stream. Um, um, but yes, I hope you had fun. Um, St Star, if you need to raid and run, if you need to go and look after yourself, if you need to like hydrate, snack, rest your eyes, sleep, whatever you need to do, please feel free to go and look after yourself. Um, I forgot to uh, introduce myself. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know me, I'm Georgie. I'm a cozy, comfy, chaotic streamer. I do a lot of Sims, Stardew, Dreamlight Valley, um, lots of cozy games. I'm playing Wildflowers at the moment. Um, we do a lot of cozy, cozy gaming and we have a cozy time. Uh, I'm also going to run a raid video. I have a little cozy raid video. Um, oh my goodness, another heist. <gasps> Can I join another heist? I don't know if I, if I'm able to join the heist, but I'm joining in again anyway. Um, but yes, I'm going to run the raid video. It just shows like the absolute chaos that happens on my streams. So enjoy and I'll see you in a minute. Um, enjoy! Hi, hello, I'm Georgie and welcome to the Cozy Club. 
I don't know if everyone's ready, but... Hey, listen! All potatoes are valid. I thought we had something special. I guess I was wrong. Yeah, you ordered me a salad. You get what you pay for. I paid for a divorce. Cat joke? Why shouldn't you beat a Nordic big cat at a race? You don't want to cross a finish, lion. <laughs> and played... Oh! <laughs> Wow. How'd you get on Wilson on the stream? I blackmailed him. I said, hey, you didn't say wow in Loki, so come and say it on my stream. And he said, wow, it looks great. <laughs> you are beautiful. It looks lovely. Ah! Oh my God. No. <laughs> Is this what the game was expecting when they designed it? Be my true form. Ka-chow. Double ka-chow. Wow. Zila, thank you for the follow. Welcome into the Cozy Club. Um, oh my goodness. Um, Paul is somehow smashing out all the heists and I'm concerned. Am I winning any? I don't think I've won any heists. And I run this town. Um, it's, a, it's a payday experience, indeed. Um, truly impressive. Also, yes, um, Storm, you better have some hash browns, please. Everyone have a hash brown. Um, also, Craig, just having a look at your options for your cosplay. Carl Helsenberg from Resident Evil Village. Astrius from Hades. Lady Dimitrescu from Resident Evil Village. And female um, Avior, Avor from Assassin's Creed. Ooh, I'm going to go with Vampire Mummy. Always go with Vampire Mummy. Option is always Vampire Mummy. That's just a, that's just a given. Um, almost infamy too, pretty comfortable with overkill difficulty. <laughs> um, infamy, yes. Um, what's the point of the heist? Indeed. It is, yeah, the point of the heist is robbery, absolutely. Um, see, you guys wow. can all, wow, indeed. Wow. Who said that? Where's my <laughs> sound alerts? I don't know who said that. Oh, Alia. Alia, thank you. Thank you for the pity pitties. I didn't get notification. <laughs> I was like, where did that come from? Um, Lightning McQueen time, everyone. <gasps> Wait, where's my glasses? Oh, they're over here. Oh, my goodness. It is absolutely... For the kitties, biddies for kitties, and kachows. I'm taking them for kachows, but thank you, thank you for the biddies. Um, are we almost at 2k? No, we're not. Stop. I don't believe you. Um, I'm scared. I'm scared if so. <laughs> what did I say I was gonna do if, at, at 2k? I had a plan for something. We're doing something at 4k. At um, when we reach, we are getting there actually. Oh, that's right. When we reach GK followers, we are playing um, Too Hot to Handle Sims 4 style. That's what I'm doing. That's what happens. Um, also, Sensei. <laughs> um, oh, my gosh, you both won. Congrats on winning the heist. Tell Lily I love her. Lily, did you hear that? <gasps> she heard something. I think she heard that. Lily. Paul says he loves you. How do you feel? She definitely reacted. Um, I'm just going to like sit these maybe here. I can still read. Um, Craig, enjoy your look. Enjoy. Need some hash browns. Have no self-control. Star, please enjoy your hash browns. I have no hash browns. I'm really sad about it. Um, I've run out of hash browns at home. I need to buy more. Um, yes. Can you make me some too? I'd love some. She acknowledged Paul. She she did. She acknowledged it. You can read me. I can't read. I pretend I can, but I can't. <laughs> I can read. Also, can we appreciate Double Lily? <laughs> double Lily, everyone. Just a sneaky two Lilies, just for fun. Um, <laughs> double Lily again. Proof that this is the same room. Where is it? It's there. There. We're in the same room. Can you tell? Lighting is wild. Um, you should play as so-called all the sangres, but that's not so important part of my success. Paul's success is unmatched. He's winning all the heists. I know that much. 
Um, so believe Louise is different dimension. This webcam is a different dimension. Oh, isn't that so trippy? I put my hand out and then it comes back into frame. <gasps> this is actually sorcery. And also, look who's there. Wow. Her chow. Right there. Anyway, it's because I can't adjust the lighting in that camera, but I can adjust this lighting. It's magic. Um, anyway, we are actually um, playing Dreamlight. Can I get this to sit just nice and chill up here? Perfect. Um, we are playing, what are we playing? Dreamlight. <laughs> We're playing Dreamlight at the moment. For anyone who's coming, can't adjust the lightning. Ker <gasps> Hello. Hi, Lily. Yeah. See, she looked at me. She acknowledged me. Crazy thing it's the same room. It's so weird because I'm using like a really cheap Kmart um, camera for, for Lily. I'm so sorry, Lily. Um, can you have blue background lights? I have a blue, um, a galaxy light. It is blue lighting. It's just for some reason, like, oh, can I just, <laughs> um, yeah, for some reason, I, I it, it's just, it's bizarre. She's so good. I die for her. Me too. Honestly, me too. Even though she smacked me twice in the face this morning. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to just like expose you, but it's true. You smacked me twice. Oh, I'm sorry, Lily. No, she's gone. Oh, she didn't want to have a bath on camera. You know what? That's that's valid. That's fair. Um, that's okay. Lily, will you be um will you be Rahima's bestie? I'm really sorry. She just tried to leave the room. <laughs> Where are you going? You have the toy over here. Do you want your toy? She might pop up here, actually. She might want to jump up. Do you want to jump up? We'll have to do it from over there. No, she wants to leave. Um, cats live in the same dimensions as us, but they can see in here on other ones. That's why they're weird. That's true. Do you want to leave? No, she was just having a bath. It's okay. She just wanted some privacy for a moment. That's fair. She wanted to be off camera to have a bath. We'll allow it. Um, also, yes, I did deserve getting smacked in the face. I did steal her, um, her <laughs> I did steal her couch. How dare I? How dare I do that? Um, on her way to you. She is. She's just on her way. She's on her way now. <laughs> she's going to make it. Any Lily. No, she can't. She's only nine. Surely there's regulations. Surely there's some regulations there. I don't think you can have a nine-year-old on OnlyFurs, but what do I know? Um, I don't know how that works for cats. It's not better than camera unless she's getting paid. Fair. You know what? She knows her worth. Oh, are you jumping up? <gasps> oh. Ha ha! She's here. Stretch. We'll do a lily stretch. Oh my god, you're wet from your bath. Gross. I'll stretch because Lily's wet from her bath. Lily, say hello. Hang on, say hello properly. You know, you got to be polite. Lily! Oh, the burger can is still there. Wah. There she is. <gasps> There's a little void. There's a little void. Can't turn that burger cam off for some reason. There we go. It's Lily. Look, it's you. Isn't she just the cutest? Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> Thanks. It's for sneezing on me. Um, oh my gosh. Anyway, anyway, Lily, you're stealing the spotlight. But she is a very sweet kitty. Um, Crash Widows Explorer, renaming photos. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she sneezed on my chin. Um, Pren, Soybeans has one named Nugget when Jordy isn't streaming. <gasps> Soybeans has one called Nugget. That's very cute. Nugget's a great name. Um, favorite void cat. She's my favorite void cat. See? The people love you. Okay. And she's down. And there is cat hair all over me now. 
Are you going to sit down? Maybe? Possibly? Okay, she might be sitting. And there's cat hair all over my face now. Um, Mum, can you not? I'm trying to chill. She's like, I'm trying to chill. And I'm like, Lily, you need to show the people, you know, how cute you are. It's important for the public to know. It's general public knowledge. Um, oh, my God, there's so much cat hair, like, on my face now. Um, has a white cat named Minty and a black one named Nuggets. Solid names. I love that the white name, white one is, like, Minty. Like, that kind of makes sense. But the nugget is, like, is it a burnt nugget? Like, is it a charred nugget? I'm confused. Also, burger cams snuck back on. But burger is actually over here. I'm going to reset my computer. Oh, no, Storm, I hope your computer's okay. Rip in pieces. No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It just needs to be readjusted. Nugget is a calm, cuddly angel and Minty is a chaos goblin. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, Lily is somehow both. Lily's, like, calm, cuddly. What are you looking at? Also very judgy. And also crazy. Mom, you're embarrassing me. Will you embarrass me when you smack me in the face at 4 a.m.? Oh, but she's just so cute. She is giving me judgy face now, though. That's a bit rude, honestly. Um, I need to find Stitch. Where is this? Where is Stitch? He's sleeping. Never mind. Um, I'm trying to play my games. Actually, if I sit in this chair for like a few minutes and then I get up, Lily does steal the chair, and she does look like a little gamey kitty, but she also blends into the chair because the base of the chair is is black. It's like void, like magnet. She just sits there and she's like, no one can perceive me. And then she, that's probably how she wins all her games. That's why you're so, that's why you're like ranking so high in Fortnite. Is that a thing? Can people rank high in Fortnite? <laughs> I haven't played enough. Um, this chair, I'm just borrowing it. I'm just borrowing it. I mean, I built this chair myself. Um, but it is Lily's, absolutely. Um, hundred percent. Who else am I gifting things to if everyone else is sleeping? Um, hi Lucky, and he's going to bed. <laughs> um, having oh early-ish night. Um, yeah, he's a bit under the weather at the moment. It's, um, not a hundred percent, so he's having a bit of an early night. Not really an early night. It is like nearly eleven. Early for me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he's been been a bit sick lately, just the last couple of days. He's just got a bit of a bug. Um, hence why I was sleeping on the couch and then Lily still smacked me in the face, which was just, it was just so uncalled for, you know? I think seriously, no, I think it was just, he's just got like a tummy bug. You know, there's just like, you know how everything's just going around at the moment? Like, if it's not COVID, it's just like a bug. Everything's going around. Um, and somehow... Knock on wood, there's nothing around here. There is nothing wooden near me at all. Paper, does that count? I'm, I'm knocking on with that. I'm knocking on paper. Um, don't get that. I hope I don't get that. Yeah, I hope you don't get that too. Um, yeah, there's just like a lot of things, bugs going around at the moment. Um, but no, he's he'll be okay. He's feeling better today. Um, and hopefully we'll feel better tomorrow. Um, ooh, I can get a one, I can get one of these fish. Wait, am I already level 10 with Ursula? Do I need to give her a gift? I'm not even keeping track anymore. I'm like, who do I need to befriend? Okay, I don't need to give you anything. Um, oh, gosh, you're rumbling so loud. You can see tiny little Lily is just top of the of the camera, bottom of the camera rather. She's just there. She's just there. I'm oh, sorry. I just gave you a mohawk. I'm so sorry. That's really embarrassing. Um, Storm, you survived. Is it fixed? Have you fixed everything? Um, oh, pumpkin. Let's go and get a pumpkin because I know I have pumpkins ready. I have a lot of pumpkins ready. Returned from reset hell. Oh my gosh, you survived. What happened? I'm I'm so intrigued. 
Lily, what are you doing? You're going to fall off. Storm fixed everything. Storm fixed literally everything. The world is saved. Um, there are no problems left in the world. You know what? I'm going to leave those pumpkins because I don't have patience. I'm going to go and give Mother Gothel a single pumpkin. Where is she going? Can I go here? Oh my god, there is cat hair up my nose. It's a rough time, honestly. Um, okay, there's Mother Gothel. We get one single pumpkin. I don't have the time to get all of them. Um, just have a single pumpkin. It's fine. Such a Google Drive throws a fit because I'm editing too many files too quickly. You're smashing things out too quickly. Um, but you saved everything. Puppies are flying through the air, dispensing chocolate and filet mignon. World peace has been achieved. Absolutely. Paul's 100% correct. What a beautiful time. Stormy did it. Um, also Google Drive is, is so fussy sometimes. I don't use it a whole lot, but I have been saving all of my like TikTok, like saved, like edited TikToks. They've been going into Google Drive and Google takes so long to like process them. So I'm like, the file was there, but Google's like, yeah, but you can't like check it. You have to wait like an hour. And then by that point, I have forgotten about it and it will never get seen. <laughs> it disappears into the void. And you think I'd have experience because I literally have a void on my lap right now. You won't show me its license so I don't let it try. Fair enough. I wouldn't trust Google to drive. Actually, I bet there's going to be Google cars at some point. Actually, has anyone seen um, Apple did their like big showcasey thing where their Apple was like, whoa, look at all the new technology we've made. Whoa, it's another phone. But they also have these like virtual glasses that we're basically getting like holograms essentially. People are going to be living in virtual reality. And I don't know if that's a good thing personally. I'm personally not on board, but I'm intrigued. Um, no more produce, produces free food, water housing and education for all and healthcare, especially mental healthcare. Storm is fixing everything. I'm so like in awe. I'm amazed. My experience with Google Drive. See, Google Drive, why are you like that? Google Drive, have you tried not being like that? Have you tried running properly? To be fair, Google Drive is better than Dropbox for me so far anyway. I've enjoyed it more than Dropbox. Um, oh, now I need blue and also white flowers. That's a blue one over here. Okay. I'll give the blue one to Ursula. And I have to find flowers for Moana as well. Gosh. Um, and of course she's gone. Ursula was never to be seen again. Um, that's fine. We'll have a look at our memory. Let me do my, uh, my memory here. Oh, in the forest. We have to go to the forest, don't we, for white flowers? <laughs> I'm assuming. Making the dream reality. What an absolutely beautiful dream though. Free healthcare, free mental healthcare. True utopia. The kind of utopia that um, YA Diceotopia movies could never even fathom. I say this because I've had a craving to watch The Hunger Games again recently. I don't know why. I just want to watch it again. Like all of them. I want to watch all of the Hunger Games movies again. They were a wild time, but they were also like the best of their genre. I will die on that hill. Trade universal income. Me too. I wish, you know, yeah, bare minimum. It's not that hard. Um... I think this is the flower that somebody wanted. Don't know who, but I've grabbed one just in case. And I've got three of the flowers that Moana needs. And that's all I can give her. So she'll have to live with that. She'll have to deal with that, you know? Because I can't find any more. I'm assuming I get three per day. Um, so 
No flowers for you. Um, is there any other quests I can do that I want to do? <laughs> Specifically, any that I want to do. Can't have that. That'll be communism. And we know how I feel about communism. Um, something to do with mice rights. Where did I stand with mice rights? I can't remember where I ended up landing. No, I wanted communism for mice, but that was it. Communism doesn't work for people, but it could work for mice. That's that's how I feel. Um, bloke who talks on the radio, he reckons if we did away with Centrelink as a whole, it could afford universal income. Nobody would need Centrelink because income would be enough. Very fascinating. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think I agree with that. I don't think that would work. I think we didn't have Centrelink and then we realised we needed Centrelink. Not that Centrelink is necessarily um, a fix-all and certainly is not a fix-all, but they have banger hold music, so, you know, they're doing something right. Um, mice deserve rights, but rats don't. Exactly. Rats, well, rats, no, here's the thing. Rats deserve rights, but they willingly entered communism. Um, sorry, they willingly entered capitalism. The rats walked into capitalism the mice were dragged in by Scrooge, okay? That's just how, it's just a fact. I don't make the rules. I just stand by them. Um, yeah, communism for, for, for rice. Yeah, for rice? <laughs> communism for rice. Everyone gets as much rice as you want. Communism is theoretically the perfect system, but it's dependent on being composed entirely of perfect people. Exactly. Communism doesn't work for people, but I think it could work. Um, started bringing ducks and goose in. I think I did. I think I did. I think I said that ducks... Ducks deserve rights and geese maybe deserve rights. But geese above ducks, I think. But then ducks are cuter. Um, party only... Yeah, the only music I jam to is Central and Cold music. That's, that's my rave music. Geese don't, don't, oh, geese, no, no rights for geese. Okay, that's right. You know what? I won't fight you on that. I am happy to take those rights away <laughs> from the geese. Human imperfection is beautiful anyway. It is. We don't need communism, but the mice do. And the rats do not. It's a rat race, not a mice race, okay? Swans deserve rights. Yes, swans, ducks, geese. Swans, ducks, mice, no, mice, swans, mice and swans, that's it. And ducks, ducks can have rights. Um, and then rats, eh, and then, no, yeah, we're, we're making a hierarchy. It's not like a hierarchy, but it's a hierarchy. All this because I was too stingy to buy a dress made by mice. Um, but you know what, I bought it. Okay, can we just appreciate the fact that I bought it? It's sitting in my inventory. I'm not going to put it on, but I'm going to show it to you just to prove that I bought it. Where is it? Mice. No, you can't see. You can't see it because my camera's blocking it. Hang on. I have to scroll. No, I can't scroll. It's this one. It's here. You can't see. Hang on. <laughs> well, I could just move me. Yeah, I didn't have to disappear entirely, but here's a receipt. Blue my sewn pearl strung gown. There we go. It was a pity purchase. Actually, it was a bully purchase. I got bullied into it. I did not buy this willingly. My greeting Canada geese stop in my rail yard and then decide they own it. Okay, so we can take the, their rights away. That's fine. They chose violence and I have to look like a complete maniac threatening birds with a shovel. They chose violence and you chose to take away their rights to stay there. Um, also, I didn't keep the receipt for this my stress because Scrooge told me there was no refunds available. So that's how I feel. My sister shouldn't thank you because now they can go to uni, but they shouldn't have to. They should be able to live their free life. They should be able to have free, like, the mice's children should have free education. 
I have seen them try to threaten the locomotive. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, left pumps is going, oh, me too. That is very pretty. Youngest is starting to be a doctor. Well, they, the youngest should have free education. Uni should be free. Are you going to fight me on that? Are you going to tell me that uni needs to be that expensive? No. The government is making my hex more because of interest and economy and inflation. Are those finance words? They sound like finance words. I'm throwing them out there. I'm, I'm going to pretend I know what they mean. They mean numbers are getting worse. In a perfect world, but this is not a perfect world. This is Disney. Not a perfect world. Alia, this is literally Disney. Are you telling me that Disney is not a perfect world? Well, facts, because the mice have to work. Also, you're telling me that Scrooge is going to give them minimum wage? I don't think so. Scrooge does not give anyone minimum wage. Absolutely not. That duck is skimping people. 100%. 10 pound bird versus uh 600 ton machine place your bets um i'm yeah i'm siding with the machine but i'm guessing the bird's gonna win um because i'm imagining the 600 ton machine is similar to lightning mcqueen but i'm gonna assume the bird will obliterate way yeah yeah confused Scrooge is like, hey, no, you're making stuff for me for fun. He doesn't understand. You mean we're part two? We're doomed. We're doomed. We're absolutely doomed. Um, I mean, I feel like technically the emus really won the first emu war. I know everyone says, like, technically the humans won. I'm like, it was a technicality because we could choose to declare a winner. I don't think we really won. They're still out there. Why can't I claim these? This is so rude. Did I get that one? Uh, unclear. Okay, I got these. Mm, can't get those. That's fine. Um, Amy's won because the entire campaign was ineffective. Exactly, they won. Um, also, um, Alia, enjoy your lurk. Enjoy your dinner. I hope your dinner is very tasty. Have we done anything on stream tonight? I also need to wrap up in a moment because I need to get to bed. Have I done any? I, I did a quest before, didn't I? A few hours ago, maybe. Ooh, we did that. There we go. We did something. Um, nourished from food. Yay, Charlotte. I hope your food was tasty. Um, yeah, the fact that the, hum that the emus, the entire, the fact that we had a war with emus is wild i actually love reading the wikipedia page it brings me a lot of joy truly um that's all good we might actually wrap up here because um i've forgotten about any quests that i'm doing and i do need to get to bed um because i also need to have sleep um but paul thank you for hanging out um thank you for just providing some solid entertainment and for winning a bunch of heists really like good job um, enjoy all of your heist fries. Um, thank you for the hydrate, Rahim. Had a um, bachelor's pasta and sauce cheese, leek and ham. Delish. Very delish. Amazing. That sounds delicious. I can't have leek, but the rest of it sounds great. Because leek is in the onion family. And I can't do onion. Um, but we are going to, I think, leave it here. Let me see if I can save and get out of my 24-day um, out-of-sync situation with the cloud. Am I back in? I'm still out of sync. I'll fix that later. Can I save to the cloud? It's now 24 days and three hours that I have been out of sync. I knew something was off. <gasps> Fixed it. Everything's fine. Uh, everything is all solved jump out of that and yes we're gonna find a friend to raid um oh i think we'll say hi to yinny i think we're gonna say hi to yinny tonight because she's doing stargy which is nice and cozy and i am playing 
I'm playing some Stardew this week. We're doing co-op Stardew with the gals on Saturday. It's going to be pure chaos and I cannot wait. Uh, and I'm also going to be doing some cozy Stardew on Thursday night. Um, we might work on the perfection save. We might do expanded. I'm not sure. We're going to, I'm going to pick one of my 10,000 save files and we're going to have fun. Um, so we're going to do some cozy Stardew on um on Thursday and so since we will um let's go and say hi to uni um so there's my socials and and the cozy club discord um if you're coming across in the raid um yeah we're gonna raid the FBI um and you know we've been doing heists so really we should be we should be raiding absolutely um if you're coming across in the raid there are the raid messages cozy emotes if you are subbed if you are um, following or have just been hanging out in the stream tonight you can grab the cozy cloud emotes um there we go grab all of those thank you everyone for hanging out tonight thank you for the raid thank you for the biddies and the subs and the follows and the chats and the lurks i appreciate you all so so much lily do you want to say good night to everyone <laughs> lily says good night oh my gosh <laughs> she just kicked the microphone there you go. she's flicking her tail in good night There you go. She said good night. Um, I should probably sync up the raid, shouldn't I? That probably would help a little bit. I know what I'm doing. There we go. All right. Let's go and say hi to Yinny. Um, everyone, look after yourselves. Hydrate. Um, enjoy the rest of your next few days. I'll see you guys on Thursday and Saturday for some cozy side. You look after yourselves. Stay cozy. Stay well. And I'm looking for the ending screen. <laughs> Good night. Ka-chao.